Yeah. Yeah. Guess who came back with a large fucking fist to eat the Brooklyn Blast Furnace? I brought your ugly bitch with me. Your shit is sus. Ain't nobody trying to hear you talk. When Jimmy's on the mic, they take your wax shit and turn it off. It's real life, not them stories that you punks say. He made it out alive, and he's relatively unscathed. So subscribe to the podcast and share the post. And tell your super friends to do the same. You heard it here from Coast. Bollock Coast, early morning, and fucking Nightwalker. You guys don't get a formal introduction. Everybody should figure it out as we go along this fucking train wreck that this is going to be. Hi. Hi, gentlemen. Hi, all. Hey, y'all. What's up? Popping with it. Yeah. First time, yeah, still... night, first time that Nightwalker and early morning are on the show. Bollock, this is like your eighth time. You're like a regular, but you're like a fan favorite. People like your nonsensical banter. Yeah. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and then there's Coast. Why are you all dark over there? There you go. I, because Bollock's screen comes on and knocks the light out. Is that better? Yeah, now you're like be all sorts of bright and weird. All right, so unbright myself, we're saying here. I don't so. care. Yeah, no, he cares, bro. We can't be too fucking sexy in here. Let's go like this. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, it's a little more focused. On, what? Uh, it's every time you come on because you're so dark, you're casting a shadow on. So his, changes his to the shit whole fucking has thing. nothing to do with you. Coach. Yeah, no. Every time I don't have mine on the thing where it changes <laughs> fat heads. It's I don't know how to do that. <laughs> how the fuck did you? Yo, Jimmy, you're on a computer. You said right? A I'm Mac on a computer. desk. I'm on a Mac desktop. So Me my too. shit. All right. So top right hand corner. Top right hand it, corner. It says, says you. Uh, uh you, that's the left. And, and then you go favorites. And you click gallery, bro. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. We're just, you know, we're going to have to deal with this accordingly. Yeah, you're going to be prepared for class. <laughs> I'm prepared. I'm here, baby. Oh, all right. All right, so now right. check it out. <laughs> This whole thing came about. Um, how did this whole thing come about? You, you hit me up and made me do shit, and then I and made then you do made everyone else. We made everyone else do it too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I hit up Nightwalker because he was never on, and I watch all this shit. He makes beats every day. He's like mad busy all the time. So I'm like, let me hit him up. And plus, I know that you're into hardcore shit, so that's always a good thing. So I was like, all right. I think, you know, would you be down to come on? And then it just so happened. And then you're like, yo, like, you might not be that interesting. So, like, why don't we get three more? <laughs> Is that what I said? No, no I didn't. No, 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 I'm just playing again. And then, and then, because you, you, you. But I was like, I was like, yo, uh, me and AM have a record dropping. So, like, let's bring him on. And then you're like, oh, well, if we're going to do that, let's bring on Coach. And I bollock. Yeah. Like, right, fuck it, let's go. And everybody was counting you out, Bollock. Bollock, you need to smile. You look you look very not nice today. And it's making me feel a little weird. I was I was nodding off, waiting for the link. <laughs> I, I sent it to you at ten to seven. How's your beer? I have my soda pop. You got your you soda got pop? One? I do. I got a leftover renegade Guinness that survived somehow. <laughs> So, so so he so here we are, and I figured that this was gonna be a train wreck anyway, because just like with two people on plus me, it's it usually goes off the rails. So where do we want to begin? Because I let's have to talk no let's let's maniacs. talk about it. Let's, let's begin with host is wearing sunglasses in a dark room. Yeah, we could do that. No, let's let's, let's, let's just do not. <laughs> I'm no, I am. I I don't want you guys to fucking because there's a Jew in here and he's gonna try to steal my fucking soul. What do you? What do you? You're gonna steal my soul. You never watch Borat? Come on, bro. Hey, honestly, he ain't he ain't lying, bro. I know. You can barely see. Hey, Coach got a good fucking soul. (laughs) (laughs) He's gonna leech into my eyeballs and steal some of my energy. 
Even when I call Walker on the phone, I put the glasses on. <laughs> Just like, hold on. Even I'll be laying in my bed. <laughs> Gotta put the glasses on. <laughs> you call me laying in bed wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Hey, yo, nobody's mentioned how fucking silly my shirt is either. That's it is. What does it say? Assholes live forever? It. it does. It says assholes live forever. Nice. I I just, I buy shit like this. It says that basically on my actual skin under my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it does, right? What is, no, yours says American asshole, right? <laughs> it sure does. You should American fucking... asshole? That's beautiful. You should send that guy a cease and desist who makes these. Be like, actually, no. You owe me money. That requires I'm... me to like do something. Yeah, no, that's true. If I see him, I'll punch him in the face, but I, I'm not like sending him a letter. You should. <laughs> that's <laughs> see, you're not a real Jew. That's see, that's you're acting out of character. I know they took me. I haven't been around Jews. Like, <laughs> like I'm a Jew. Like, right, like I don't know. No one taught me this shit. Bro. <laughs> yeah, that's I fucked up. Old, like street shit, bro. You have. I, no I need like my privilege. own Jew to do the Jew shit for me. Like Bali yeah. calls me. Like, Yo, we need to find a Jew. <laughs> it would, I mean, yeah, nah, for real. What's the like? You're like a fucking you. you you're like all the Jew, but none of the perks. It's bullshit. I know. Just a little <laughs> big. Fucking no, little schmeck. I got no money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you have like some standard little pecker. That's terrible. I think it's I awful, might be bro. Jewish. Holy shit. <laughs> But yeah, you know, me and him have an album coming out also. Yeah, you do. You do. But you, you're originally from Long Island, right, Walker? Yes, sir. So you and Bollock and Coach used to run around and, you know, cause fucking problems? I mean, yeah, like, later, on, late, later on in life, like, I didn't, I didn't, we didn't grow up together. But, I mean, I've known them both for, I don't know how fucking long, like, since the early 2000s, for sure, you know? Mm -hmm. When did you and why did you want to go out to Chicago? I was just doing stupid shit. And I kind of went on a little adventure and it, nothing I, I can really say on here, but, but shit just worked out pretty good. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. You don't have to go into details. You know, I knew I knew some people out here. I was doing shows out here that was cool. Like the rent was mad cheap. And I was just like, yo, this place is pretty like compared to Long Like I fucking hate I hated Long Island. From the second, like for my whole life, <laughs> you know what I'm saying like yeah. I always wanted to be in the Bronx. Like my grandparents lived in the Bronx. I was when I was a, like a little baby. I lived in the in Yonkers and the Bronx, and I just like always hated Long Island. Like I don't know. I just like as soon as I can get the fuck out of there, I was out. Even when we were kids, we would hop on the train and like go into the city and bomb shit and drink and skateboard and shit. Like yeah, I don't know. I just always hated it. Like like because Balik and Coast like. It's you're talking about over an hour of driving just to like get to any one of your homies and shit. Like, yeah, Long Island's a shit show. Do you, I know like two places in Long Island. I know like where my friend Vinny lives because I have it in my GPS, and I know that bar that me and you went to, Bollock, where it sounded like a fucking bird sanctuary the first time that we did the fucking podcast. Instant or what? Oh, what wait, which it? one? The colony, the shithole, the little one? Yeah, yeah that you one. You were sitting in the back? Yeah, that one with the punch dude, that dude, the, yeah. The gay dude? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Was that was good jerk. times. <laughs> that guy was a jerk off. I wanted to break his jaw on the podcast. Yeah, he was one of those, like, old school, <laughs> 80s, pretentious gay guys. Yeah, he was, but he was such You're a... like, know-it-all, fucking... Yeah, that's what I didn't like about I like, I like, like those uh, guys. <laughs> nah, nah, you you would want to fucking kill this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm very level headed nowadays. Like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm pretty laid back with. Yeah, that me shit. too. Yeah, we, we were both guy... getting like, all right, man, all right. That man. guy brought something out <laughs> of me. Yeah. I was just like, this could be 1993 all over again, quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. pop you over the fucking head in a second. Get oh, the oh, fuck out of here. I had a great time. <laughs> yeah. Fucking 36 Chambers came out. 93, oh, 93, I was a great, fucking bro. disaster. I was on fucking ecstasy and smoking dust. Why does it say Phil uh, Lee entered the waiting room? <laughs> I'm what? from Long Island, too, bro. <laughs> I'm Why right here. Say, right now, it says Phil Locasio entered the waiting room. So I if, still if I press admit, what's going to happen? Is there another one of you? Let's find out. This is going <laughs> to be a shit show. I'm going to admit it. Is it going to be your father? What, what is it? <laughs> Do you see this? It's gonna be well, a I, see, I see an extra person fucking popping up. 
Yeah, it's just still a lot of traps in there. That's crazy. I'm going to ask that person. All right, they're gone. You, you're doing shit over there with your fucking glasses on. You can't see shit. I can't. I saw it. I, I it can't asked me if see I wanted God to damn join. God damn it. I'm already here. What are you talking about, John? I don't know. It this came up. Exactly I knew what was going to happen with this shit, too, bro. <laughs> it's just they like don't. it doesn't even make sense. It's silly. It's crazy. Oh hey, Am, what's up, bro? This keeps like script. looking up at us like, what the fuck is happening? Why am I down here listening to these four idiots? Nah, nah, it's all good, bro. What's popping with you? How you feeling? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good. What are you like a born and raised Chicago guy? Yeah, born and raised Chicago West Side man. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a Chicago thing, man, for sure. There's a lot of New Yorkers up in this motherfucker. So. Don't oh, worry, man. I got your Chicago back a little bit too, bro. <laughs> I never been there. You guys do in the inclement weather. Like, how do we you, put what on. You do if there's a inclement weather. We put on coats, <laughs> there, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's put on a fucking jacket. What do you mean? Oh, how inclement curious. does it get? Is it getting it's cold? literally the same weather as, as Long Island. Like it's like it's just a day before or after, and it's like one or two degrees colder or hotter. Yeah, uh, that's bullshit. But I think I should just name this episode "Inclement Weather." What the fuck? Why? Inclement. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't that, understand. Out of my eye, bro. I wouldn't understand. Nah, you wouldn't understand. Why wouldn't I understand? So let's move on onward. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So let's move on, he said. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. So, AM, what's your story? Next bro? question. What's your story, bro? Where, what, what, when were you born? <laughs> no, like, what's your story? Like, I looked on your Why iTunes you like shit. Chicago so it, much, bro? It, it, looks, it looks like you've been busy the last, like, you put out, like, five, I don't know if you uploaded them to iTunes or whatever, but there's, like, five or six records over the last, like, two years. Unlike Bollock. <laughs> yeah, I dropped like uh, what is it like seven or eight projects in the last. It's like, like five. You missed three, bro. Years. Yeah, yeah, seven or eight. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple with Nightwalker on there and shit. Yes, sir. Busy. So yeah, just just keeping the shit moving, man. Just trying to trying to do me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it ain't really too. It ain't a big Chicago crazy scene out here. It's like 30 of us and shit. You know what I mean? So we just kind of do our thing and fucking keep it cracking, bro. All right. There's like there's like thousands of trash motherfuckers, but there's like yeah. there, there's like 30 motherfuckers working and shit that are decent, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Big ass city with like 30 motherfuckers actually really doing that shit. Everybody else is fucking weird. I wouldn't think it would be like that. I don't know why, because I'm ignorant and I've never been to Chicago, so I don't. I know mean, what, put it this way: How is it? How is it in New York? How many? How is like the top scene in Long Island or in New York City? Dog like, shit, terrible, yeah, nothing. Say, yeah, Coast. I, Coast has been trying to throw a show for months, and nobody even has like a venue. Like, I, no, oh, it's wait, like impossible. There is no venue to throw shows. Like, what? What do you mean to a show? <laughs> like a fucking rap concert, motherfucker. <laughs> Where do I throw a rap show, bro? Yeah. Even That's yeah, how it is in Chicago, yeah. except it's better. I swear, Chicago is fucking better. Like, yeah. like, there's a few of us that get along, and we like, we just threw a dope ass show, robust do a show uh, for his like, what was it his twentieth or twenty fifth anniversary? Yeah, twentieth, yeah. And it was me and AM did a set together, and then it was like Quell, Quell and Maker, Depsy, Robust, uh, I Am God, and Max Julian. And Shazam Bangles. It was just like a DJ, a couple couple dudes did like quick beat sets. And then like just all, all dudes that are really like friends anyway and shit that are yeah. somewhat dope. That You know what I'm saying? Like it was yeah, like, you know, we, we would throw those in Long Island once every fucking maybe once a year or some shit. Like when I was there, I don't know since I left. Nothing like, has when, happened. When, like, when's the last time there was a dope underground show in Long Island? Probably Diabolic threw it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the last Christmas show. And it was it was dope, but it was like, I don't know. Buttertones came, so it made it shitty. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like, like, talk about, like, back, like, in, like, 93, that, like you were saying. It's like... Even this, even like New York City, like Manhattan, is completely fucking different now. Like oh, all yeah. those small venues, 
all those little small, you know, even like 500 cap, you know, spots, they're all gone. Everything is gone. Yeah, bro, like we, we used to, we used to rock at, um, like at CBGB, but in the lounge, like under, have you ever been downstairs under, under yeah. CBGB? There's yeah. it's called, it's called CBGB lounge. Lounge. Yeah. And we used that's to rock what, there. I don't know. That's maybe 300 people or so. Yeah. I don't know. It's like decent size. And we would fucking pack that shit out all the time, bro. Like we, we would do those shows. Like they were dope. My man, uh, my man Dre used to be the bouncer there. So he was like, I don't even know how he came across us on MySpace or some shit. Yeah. And he's like, I just want to do a show. Like the owner is going to let me do a show. I'll, I'll pay you guys or whatever. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm down to do a show there. Like, and then we just, that became our spot. Yeah. But like, where the fuck are those spots in New York? I, I haven't, I haven't done a show. The last show I did in New York was with Diabolic and Immortal Technique. Like, and that, like, that was and my, 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 guy, my guy Hayes has been passed away for years now, but he came with me. My guy's ill state, you know. That's that's the last time I did a show, I think, in New yeah. York, right? There's like a couple of little small spots. There's like there's like the Morgan, there's like the place, those are in Brooklyn. But like that's like it. Other than that, it's like Yeah, like it, Southpaw is done, right? Southpaw's been gone. Southpaw used yeah, to be what, I, what was the uh, what, whatever uh public oh. assembly that's gone, right? Public assembly though. Yeah, that's gone. Last, yeah, I time I was in public, last time I was at Public Assembly was probably like 2009, no, 2008, 2009. I saw shit terror there. That was the yeah, last no, time. I was there after that. I, I had done stuff probably up until about... 2014? Yeah, maybe 2015. Was Public Assembly, that used to be called Galapagos? Yeah, yeah same shit. Yeah, because yeah. I, I rocked when it was even Galapagos before it was Public Assembly. And then after Public Assembly, I think it turned into something else. It might have. Yeah, the, it might have. Bear bar, something, something with a bear. Like the animal, a bear, something. What's something. the spot? I, there used to be a spot. I'm not, now I'm not going to think of the fucking name. I saw like I mean, there was tons of them over the years. So is SOB still a thing? There's no a spot way. Puff Daddy caught it, bro. Done, right? SOB's is done. Done. The Continental no, has SOB's been done. SOB's, SOB's is still there? there? No, nah, I just thought like Cormega. I was born at SOB's was just there. I could have sworn. SOB's is there. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Almost. It, it was recently because I saw that shit you're talking about, that mega shit. There was a show there. Yeah, there was Cormega and AZ did a show. That was a house in Varick. Okay. I remember that. I, remember, I used to go there all the time. When I, was, I got arrested out there one time. Nice. Let's tell that story. Right? What happened? What did you like do? Little, yeah, over there, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, even... Like, even uh, 40, I was like 16 at SOB, bro. Yeah, even even the Chicago venues, though, bro. Like, it's... Like it's, it's you and far in between, bro. There's fucking, and then the craziest part about it is there's these fucking fifty person venues, and then you you can't find anything that's 150, 200 people. It's either fifty or fucking or like four hundred or fifteen hundred. It's, it's it's fucking all over the fucking spectrum. We're gonna have to go old school and start like renting out the Knights of Columbus and the fucking American Legion and shit. I mean, that's, that's, that's like a that's sweet me sixteen, and pretty much, bro. That me and am like. AM especially just like I'll help because I know a lot of people, but like we'll just throw our own shit and like like we we threw our album release party in my homie Charlie Glitch's backyard, bro. Like in his mom's house backyard. Like, he, had, he had a he had a little shop, like a little uh like a little clothing shop. Yeah. And we just, that, yeah we, we just turned that yeah, we we just turned that bitch into we the had merch the fucking thing. We had the shop and then you walk through the alley and then it's like his his backyard is right there and we had a stage set up or like you know, we we set up the shit. Like you guys threw your release party in a sweatshop. <laughs> we opened We're up like little <laughs> Asian people here making t-shirts and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, they make <laughs> your merch right in the back. Basically, <laughs> little old ladies and shit. Yeah, Sorry. like what about that, what about that place that you you did like a little bit there, Bob? Like, I think that was the first the first night I ever met you. It was with that whole uh, easy. It was Ezek with the the well. Where's that? Was that? Just giant. It was in Brooklyn. Oh yeah, I, I I had never been to that place. I don't even know what that is. Really, I it was, was there that night. It was giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, like, like there's that place. I think that's still open. I think, but it's huge. I I don't even remember where that was. 
I could like right. look it up. I could yeah, I had up. never I had I had never been there before or after that. Me neither. First time. Yeah, yeah that but was that like too home. big. Like it, it was like too much, you know? Bro, that was like a three thousand cap fucking bench. Yeah, it was I don't even know where that place came from. <laughs> Me neither. I didn't even know it existed. Should have been seeing like Wu Tang and Nas there, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, giant, like fucking yeah. 80 foot fucking ceiling, giant old made out of concrete. What where, the fuck is this? Where is this place? In Manhattan? It's in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. It's in Brooklyn. It's in Brooklyn somewhere. The well. Because I know I know that that uh I think in like 2014 or 15 or something like that, there was the black and blue bowl. Was and they had it outside, giant hall. I think, I, I think I, I've been to that. I think I was no, maybe maybe I was there. I I went to the black and blue bowl like around that era and shit. For was sure. it outside? Nah, there was there was one in like a basement somewhere. There was studio. They used to have it at Studio B for a little while. Then they then they wound up. Then they had uh, they did it outside at the well one weekend, and then then they brought it to Webster Hall for several years. But that's when, you know, like there's giant bands and like, you know, they can. Yo, is the knitting factory in Brooklyn still there? No. I think so. No. Yeah. I don't know. Not... It was in Manhattan. I'm, I'm saying, talking... yeah, I haven't lived in New York in like No, no, no. Years. After that, that <laughs> it had moved. It, it, it had moved to Brooklyn from Manhattan. I missed uh, the Manhattan one. That place was fucking great. Yeah. That was, great. That was a good time. Yeah. I've only been there like twice. I saw like the Chrome Eggs there. It was packed out. Like, but. I don't think I was ever even at the one in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's on Metropolitan. It's still there. I drove past there not long ago. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been over there in a while. You know what's a cool spot? You know what's a cool spot, though? It's down in the Bowery, right down the block from old CBGBs. It's called the Bowery Electric. Oh, yeah? I saw some shit about them closing that, too. No, nah, they're still open. The fucking Murphy's Law just played their fucking St. Paddy's Day show there. Well, there was a there was a spot right there too. It was called it was it sounds gay, but it was, it was called the Bowery Poetry Club, right? Oh, That's what yeah, it was called. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. guys ever been there? It's like I've been, been there. It's away from CBGB, and it was a dope venue, bro. Like it was per it, like it fit like maybe three hundred people, four hundred people, and it was like literally a couple doors down. That's perfect, from CBGB, bro. And we used to do shows. We got we got banned from there for some shit, like cause. Do you, I don't know if you're familiar with Nassau Chainsaw. I know Bollock. I am. I oh, yeah. yeah. What were they hanging people off the fucking yeah, ceiling we like, by hooks? Yeah, with and hooks and shit. Yeah, we'd be people. hung up with hooks and shit. Dude, so, we, would show up, we would show up with, like, with literally, like, with machetes and chainsaws, like a duffel and, like, bag. like, midgets and shit. And my guy, yeah, Larry, yeah. Yeah, my guy would, like, hang a midget from a hook off the mother, like, pierce his back off a motherfucking ceiling and, like, hand out. Like hammers and machetes to the crowd, and and swing shit. a midget <laughs> over the crowd and shit, like for a Yo, good time. It was fucking wild, so like, here's a lead pipe. You here, grab a machete and shit, and like everyone would just be in the crowd, like, yeah, fuck. <laughs> they have like circular saws and be grinding on pipes and smoking the place out. <laughs> bro, I've been to a couple of their shows. It was a shit show. It was something. That's, like, that's my fucking bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't. Those guys were nice guys too. That's the funniest yeah, thing. Like, they're crazy they're, bastards, but they're nice guys. Yeah. Well, every time I go to New York, I I try to hang out with him, bro. Like I'll go get lunch with him or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When was the last time you were even in New York? Shit. It was like I think right. You ain't right, missing nothing. Me and Am put out late night, early morning three, so that's got to be 2021. Because I remember I was. Nah, like, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it was, bro. Cause you came to my house. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did another. Yeah, I. No, that was 2021. Was right in the middle of all the COVID bullshit. No, that was 2021. Nah. That, that was, was three years ago. I don't think it was three years yeah. ago. Well, Brooklyn, yeah, no, I remember that. Yeah, I was in Brooklyn, and then I did that show in Long Island. That, 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 that oh, that I didn't go to. Yeah, that was that long ago. <laughs> go to the show. I didn't go to. <laughs> oh, and then you know what it was. The thing about that was hey, hey, when, Milo, when a Milo promoter a books a Milo. show, right? Now, when a promoter books a show and then they start asking, like, who's promoting the show, I'm not going. I'm just not going. I'm not going no more. Like, they, they, <laughs> it's not I, it's not my job, man. Yeah. I mean, you're the, it's not a show. It's just uh, going to be like 30 rappers. You're supposed to be promoting the show, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying the promoter. at the show. No, no, yeah, the promoter like, is the oh, person. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's, I don't got it. I'm not doing it. The promoter that. isn't well, supposed to ask who's promoting it. it wasn't. I wasn't. It was like a benefit. It was like free. It's not like I was getting paid for it. If I was getting paid, I would have definitely been there. Wait, the <laughs> promoter like, asked you who's promoting the show? He started asking <laughs> oddball questions about, like, <laughs> things that they should have had the fucking answers to. And I was like, ah, oh, here we fucking go. I've been down this road before. It's I'm good be on that. Bullshit. Yeah, it's gonna be a you wouldn't share bullshit. it on your stupid social medias, which, you, which you're never on anyway? <laughs> I mean, I might have. I don't know. Yeah. But what am I going to go see the same 27 rappers I've been seeing for the fucking past 17 years? Hey, yeah. hey what's up, man? Hey, How you doing? Pizza will be in the parking lot, bro. <laughs> no, I'll just wait till you come over at 3 o'clock in the morning and get shit-faced with you in my driveway. It was way more fun than going to that show. <laughs> and I am fucking... I was with Milo, and Milo, Milo's like... I think I was at Grimm's house at some point. And yeah, like, you were out at Grimm's. Sleeping. So... Milo, Milo went from sleeping on Grimm's couch. I woke him up like, yo, we got to go to diet. But I think I was on the phone with Coast, actually. Yeah. I was, like, I was like, fuck that. I'm going to fucking Bob's house right now. <laughs> I hung up. I woke Milo up off the couch, off Grimm's couch. And then and then Bob, like, like pointed to a place where Milo could sleep. And he went back to sleep. Yeah, yeah he slept on the fucking the, the uncomfortable futon. He seemed <laughs> happy as fucking shit. I hated that fucking futon, but he seemed to love it. I mean, we passed fucking, out. We got oh. fucking shit plowed till like seven thirty in the morning, just sitting in the driveway. <laughs> yeah, just chilling. We ain't got egg sandwiches and shit. Just in your driveway, just chilling. Yeah, we're just chilling. Nice. Sounds like a good time. If I drank, I would come and join you and cause a problem. Problem. I would have got your sodas. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even answer my texts. I'm like, bro. You want to answer my text? I like, usually I answer your text. I, I answered your text in my head. Like, I really right. Know <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You know, he doesn't answer my text either. You just have to repeatedly tell him he's fat and gay. And then or just eventually... call him. It just you harass him and just cold call him constantly. No, you just I just look at him. What? I read texts sometimes. I read them. I answer phone calls, though, mostly. I read them. I'm like, I'm asking you. You, see, you ever see the hangover? You ever see the hangover? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Hey, this is yeah, Phil. You know Bradley Cooper's fucking his, his fucking voicemail in that movie. He goes, <laughs> "Hey, this is Phil. Leave a message and don't text me. It's gay." That's how I, I, that, that's how I, look I was at on it. my voicemail for about no, ten don't, years. Don't text me. It's gay. That's that's me. All right. Don't text me. It's fucking gay. All right. Noted. I'm I'll old school. Text you again. I'll just call you at like fucking. Like we should get home I phones and like call each other. We oh, should we should all get man. landlines and get rid of these bullshit things. I, I'm I'm in. I, I remember Bob, like I used to have one when I lived in Beth, uh, Plainview or Bethpage, because I lived in like the basement, and it was like at the time like I had a T-Mobile phone or some shit, and I I went like beat up the dude that sold me the phone. And shit. <laughs> the dude was like, "Yo, what do you?" Uh, he's like, "Yo, do you do you live in a house that that's made out of bricks?" I was like, what am I, the, the fucking third pig, motherfucker? Like, is my house supposed to be made out of straw? What <laughs> fuck? I had, like, one of those bondage lines. Like, you have to call my house. I call my, call my house, bro. <laughs> landlines. I haven't had a landline in 20 years. I still got one in this house. Someone called you. I have the number in my no, phone. No, no. What is no, it? I, to your internet? Yeah, like, it was oh, useful. No, well, yeah, it comes with the deal. But like it was useful <laughs> up until like up until a couple of years ago, right? Land they were all like copper wire landlines. So even if like there was a hurricane and the power went out, I had a hurricane box that had a fucking rotary phone in it. So when the power went out like that for a week or whatever, because it was always fucked up over here. Yeah, me you too. You plug that shit in and it would still work. Really? The landline yeah, Long Island's all fucked up. You guys get hit with crazy weather that like Brooklyn doesn't. Yeah, it's just kind of the positioning of it, but yeah, that nah, does happen yeah, sometimes. My, my, my parents once every, have, you know, like once every five years or so, we get fucking yeah, my, bombed my or something. Has, like, if if they'll like not have power for like a week, a, like yeah. Two my weeks. neighborhood in particular has always been right, fucking like bad. Block, like, like neighborhoods all around us will have power for some reason. Ours is on some my, other fucking great. You know, you might mind you like. I'm like four houses down from a, one of the main roads of Long Island that runs top to bottom in Long Island, right? And fucking 
It'll just be lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. You're sitting here without power for the next four days. You're going up to Pizza Hut and shit to charge your phone, you know? Oh, fuck. Going to the fucking, going up to Family Dollar to plug your shit in. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, it's terrible, bro. Uh, like, Sandy, my power was out for like 13 days, bro. Yeah, my yeah me too. When I was in Jersey at the time, I was fucked up. Everyone around me had power back in like three days. But of course, my block was the only one that had a giant tree in the middle of it. Took everything down. Oh, yeah, it was a mess. It was yeah, a I had a fireplace, mess. though. I had a fireplace, which was cool. But then we came up with the bright idea that we were boiling. But it was like back in the day, bro. We're boiling pots of water. To get the steam right. to make it warm. But then you do it so much after a while, like our walls were sweating, bro. Like was, <laughs> the walls were well, actually like, whatever shit. the last storm we got was that was like that little it was like a little hurricane that hit a couple of years ago, two, three years ago. I forget which one it was. But like I remember that shit when it like really peaked and hit us, like you felt it because the fucking biggest wind gust went right up this road up here. Like right down the center of Long Island, and I felt my fucking house shake. But we never lost power in that one. Every motherfucker around here had no power except our little block. It was it was pretty impressive. Yeah, I remember yeah. We, I drove around the next day with my boy. Started driving around, there's trees all over the fucking streets. It was a disaster. Now my my block was fine. It was like it missed us. That's a beautiful fucking thing. Yeah, yeah it, got it was. It was good. I got. I was just up. playing Xbox and shit. I was just fucking chilling. Nice. Through the oh. whole shit. By the way, Walker, thanks for the hookup for the dude that did your logo because I'm waiting on mine because I hit that dude up. He hooked me up with like some crazy fucking Mexico City like legit dude down there to hook me up with a logo. Oh, what nice. he did, he didn't want to do it? He like hooked you up with somebody else? Well, no, I told him I told him that I asked you who did the logo and you sent me to him. And he doesn't know how to speak like really good English, so he sent oh, me to at all. He speaks yeah, he speaks like very yep. little English. He'll speak. He'll, he'll send me like twenty-two four-second voice clips. Yeah, 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 yeah. And but if I could tell you that he doesn't speak English, he's like, "Oh, yo, bro, I don't speak English." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He tell yeah, but I wound up, yo, he hooked me up, so but he's hey, gonna he get speaks, me something. He better. He probably speaks better English than you speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm gonna have this dude draw up a sick logo. I'm gonna get my throat tattooed like a fucking real jerk off. I oh, like it. You are? Yeah. You're going to get a throat tat at 47 years old? I I'm like 48, it. sir. Well, are you really 48? <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking... I got good genes, right? I look like... No, I was 22. trying to make fun of you. I, was, I thought you were like, all right, you, you look good for 48, bro. Thank you. I'm pickled. Throat tat. <laughs> I'm pickled. That's why I drink soda pops now. You're pickled. I'm I pickled. pickle that. So, yo, Dust, Dust will do that, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. I'm like fucking embalming. Oh, one time, I haven't aged a day since, bro. See? <laughs> Crazy Eddie Angel does fucking does a body beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't age at all. You motherfuckers is getting old. I look young and vibrant. That's just because I don't use just for men. That's all. I don't either. <laughs> I don't you either. You see that fat Joe shit with the fucking My shit is brush? gray as fuck. <laughs> It is. Uh, they got they they got this shit Fat Joe sells. You can paint on your beard in black. <laughs> you know, he, he's really pushing that shit hard. It's in like the beauty stores and everything. Why That's would you those do dudes? That? Like, yo, dudes look fucking absurd when they do that shit, bro. It's retarded. It's, like you, yo, your fucking beard is too sharp, bro. It's like Steve Harvey's old toupee hairline. <laughs> and that, sharp, that shit used to be, be like precise, bro. All so my Steve guys Harvey are the best barber in America. <laughs> Like, you'll come to get your beard lined up. I'm like, nah, bro, that shit looks gay. Like, I, that shit looks weird, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want a fucking perfect line on my shit, bro. Like, your shit just fucking weird, bro. Did like you it. tell him it, it goes against the Judaism to fucking... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you got a loud... I gotta say, Jews do have extravagant beards. You know generally. They do. They really do. Yeah. Extravagant. Yeah. Well, it's the one good thing we got going for us. Yeah, it's it's almost like the right side of your face is more gray. Oh, it's, it's like almost, you've aged worse on the right side. That's the fuck out. This is my happy side and shit. Yeah, it's like your good side. And then you're you're really pissed off, had enough of their shit side. It's when like, gray. What's his name? Yeah, you know what? You're you're a sick bastard because I just I just noticed that. You're right so to be like, like a streak. My beard like is like this is all my exes and shit. <laughs> is that where all the girls that you dated kissed you on the cheek? Yeah. <laughs> the shit, they'd be like, come here, babe. 
died. And it just like <laughs> aged that shit. It had enough. Yeah. That's why I'm fucking almost full fucking gray. I um, always answer the phone like, you know what it is? I always answer the phone like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's always in the so it's going there and just fucking the stress my hits you in shit. that side. I get it. I probably have a full head of hair on this side too. I don't know. I just shaved my head. <laughs> I'm just bald. <laughs> on the He's right bald side. on one side. <laughs> You should do it. You should let it grow in and just comb it over. <laughs> Bollock, when's the middle passage coming out? I asked it. Um, that uh, see, that's that's a it's a good. complicated question. You have a you have like a whole album ready. You've kinda, been the album kinda. ready for like three years. Yeah, but I'm not really happy with it. Oh, you're going to be like a weird perfectionist like that? Like well, no, nah, no. Nah. When I started mixing it and shit, like there's things about it that I'm not happy with, like some of the drums or things. Then you got to track everybody down, try to replace them or fix it, and blah, 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 blah. So it's like, I, I just, I kind of like got sick of a lot of it. You know what I mean? So I, I just, I stopped it. I just don't care anymore. So I moved on. <laughs> You know, that, that's so one thing I gotta say go about Pollock is, is that I don't, I'm not sure if I know anybody else that doesn't right. give a shit less about anything than you. You don't care about no, I just, I don't care it, it, about know. things I don't care about. You know what I mean? Like, once I hit the wall with something, it's over. And, and you know what it is? I, like there was a joint or two that I had recorded, you know, randomly that I was like, I'm going to put this to the side for my next shit that I work on because they were good joints. And I just had nothing. I was just shit I did randomly. And I was like, I'm just going to keep this, put it to the side. It's a good song. And so I kind of started working on a record from that. Got and it. then COVID hit. Everything got weird. So I got equipment and I started like banging shit out, getting things done. But what people didn't tell me about buying your own shit is that you get less done. <laughs> <laughs> you eventually get less music done when you own equipment because you just look at it and you're like, I don't feel like dealing with that shit. You got to record yourself. It's just, it's, I don't know. But like I started off, I had a good streak going. I was doing it and like I was getting things done. I was gung ho about the fucking record. And then when I, you know, I'm getting down to the wire with it, kind of, kind of in my head, I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm not happy with the record. I don't want to put out some bullshit, you know? So what I'm doing is, like, I wasn't happy with a couple of the beats, and there was there was just things about it that bothered me. So I scrapped a couple songs, not the rhymes, the rhymes were fine, but, like, the beats weren't right, so I scrapped a couple of them, redid them to Nightwalker beats, and me and him started working on a record because he's been making all these fucking beats that are dope. Every day this dude is fucking every day. Yeah. And so I was like, you know what? The stuff I'm not happy with, I'm just going to go into this Nightwalker record with basically a book of rhymes like we used to have when we started making records before you used all your fucking rhymes and had to write new ones to start. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I go into a record with a book of rhymes, makes things easy to get started with. And the joints that I am happy with, I'm just going to fucking release as singles. You know what I'm saying? Because there's certain songs that I did for that record that are fire. That I'm like, I'm not just, I'm not going to redo this to something else. It's perfect. I, I like it. Yeah, like this, I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to throw it out and do something oh, with it. There was that one track that you were throwing out there pretty often, the one, I don't know, you, re you refer to having, I don't know, a kid in a Wayfair cabinet. That joint. Oh, no, the truth shit? Yeah, see, I'm not happy with that beat. Really? I wasn't happy with that beat. Like, I like the vibe of it, right? But that's a yeah. long-ass... Like, those are two long-ass verses that are pretty deep, and that beat is yeah. fucking redundant, bro. It's repetitive. It's got a good yeah. vibe, like five but minute it's mad long. fucking like repetitive. Bar loop is a lot, to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's got more than that. It's like a two-bar loop, but it's like, how many drops can you do to make it interesting? And it's like, the sample isn't that interesting, where you could just run it like the whole right. fucking time. It was just irritating me. And I felt like, honestly, the rhymes are better than the fucking beat. Like the rhymes are more powerful than the beats giving them credit for, you know? And it's like, I, I don't want to, I don't feel like wasting shit. I got limited time on this fucking place. I got to leave a legacy. So what are you going to do? What's your next move? 
So I'm working on something with Nightwalker. He's producing the whole thing. I'm taking some of the stuff I was working on that was going to go on this record, and I, I re-recorded it, and I'm doing it with his beats, and then I'm writing some other new shit for that, and then putting that out. And and maybe in the meantime, I'll throw out some of the singles, you know. It is crazy. Shit like, let their whistle, like, you know. It's like the best beats that like, I've Like, yo, ever- dude, I got all Nightwalker's best beats. In my my opinion, I snatched up a bunch of fucking real heaters. Like, the, the best beats I ever heard, let alone that I ever made. Like, what Yeah, like, I snatched up a I'm few of, like, like... The best beats that I've ever made. Like, they have... I'll they call all them up at, like, fucking there. 1 o'clock in the morning, half in the bag. And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> you have to go on and send that one over, kid. <laughs> oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, send it. Come on. Send it over. And then, and I, so, uh, when, when is this going to see the light of day? I think this year. That's what I'm planning on. All right, good. I'm planning on this year. All right. Yeah. That's good. what I'm planning on. But I'm going to release some of the other singles and shit. They're relevant right now. Yeah. I got a few other singles that like. Are they like, topical? Are they topical, Bollock? <laughs> They just kind of, you know, like I, this shit, you could do it too. It's kind of like me, you know, I guess it's got a political sort of to it. Like it's sort of political, but not really. It's like me kind of like battle rapping, talking shit about the way like these young kind of woke kids act and shit, like commies, little pink haired feminists and shit, where I'm just kind of like talking shit. And the whole point is, you know, like, Get your life together. You could do it too. I I did this. You could do it too. Yeah, Stop being a fucking bitch. Yeah, you know. But I make references to like things that are kind of relevant now. Okay. You know, with these fucking dorks. Oh yeah. Complaining all the time and fucking like, surrounded by him constantly. Yeah, I live in New York, know. bro. It's brutal. This place. Like I say like something how about how I face fuck a feminist with purple hair. You know, I said yeah. that. Nice as something you like should. That, you know. Yeah. You see. But like it's kind of relevant. Those who is ah, they they they're all fucking full of shit. Oh, it's the they're worst. so full of shit. It, aren't they though? They're the feminists. They're the dirtiest of the birds, bro. Those ones. <laughs> they're the, the worst. Birds. Yeah, they know. are. They're the fucking worst. They weren't that much of feminists. <laughs> no, no, they're they're feminists in theory. In theory, on paper, man. man. They meet guys like us. They fucking they hate us, but they want to suck the dicks right off of us. <laughs> they do. They want to suck the skin right off your cock. They can't help themselves. All right? Savage animals. They can't help it. They can't help it. That's right. <laughs> Treat them like a prostitute. There you go. That's what you got to hey, do. I'm a, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this feature, but the, the one feature that's on the the uh, me and Bollock's record is fucking crazy. <laughs> it's fucking nuts, bro. Are you allowed to say it, or is it going to be a secret? I don't know. I don't care. Say whatever. Gives a fuck. Say it. Bali don't give a fuck. See, I told you he doesn't care about nothing. Walker, we should probably we should probably keep it keep it under the cup for a little while. What we're yeah, doing, yeah, I'm saying, I we'll do it. We'll do a later. We'll do a later thing. All right. We'll Drop about this it. nonsense. <laughs> You'll see. <clears throat> But anyway, hey, let's. I feel like AM, like AM, just sit, sitting in the corner over here. But, <laughs> but we got, hey, we got thinking, a record coming I'm out. I'm taking it all in. I'm taking it all in. This is beautiful. <laughs> uh, this is this shit is fun. Well, me, me, and AM do have a record on Friday coming out. Um, called Pitch and Quarters. Did you did you listen to? I sent you. Yes, I did. What do you think? Yep. Trash. I think. <laughs> Trash. Why are you gonna answer my question after you ask me it? <laughs> What do you think of it? It's trash, right? No, it's fucking dope. Of course I listened to it. You sent it to me. You sent me the artwork and the record. Of course I listened to it. What's the matter? I do a little bit of research. Even though I don't have no notes, of course I listen to the fucking thing. I watch all your shit every day. Bop into your fucking beat. I see it all the time. With your little smoke. I see what you do. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see exactly what you do. You know what I mean? That's fucking funny. <laughs> Jimmy, you got a new like woman who practices witchcraft or anything in your life these days? Who me? Yeah. No, no. You like no. those two? I got nobody. I got nobody. You just, I got you're nobody. Just, you're just slinging that old cock around randomly these days. I got huh? nobody. No. Nope. Good. No. That's that's good. a good thing. Hey, Jimmy, I love I love these witchcraft fucking blue areas and shit too. 
Oh, nah. I already had I already had my fucking share of that shit, bro. I had a lot. Yeah. That's why I'm that's why I'm right. always burning. That's why I'm always burning Palo Santo and Sage and shit. Like I gotta clean these the yeah. spirits out of my room. Yeah. Some <laughs> evil clean shit. it out of there, huh? Yeah. So they get those haunted whores out of there. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> Fuck. I never anyway, thought, yeah. I never thought I should talk, change, sure. but I should We're not talking about change. fucking we're not talking about fucking witches. We're talking about me and AM's that's <laughs> coming out. We're here to promote shit, bro. There you go. <laughs> fuck. Talk about it, motherfucker. What the fuck? Yeah, talk <laughs> about it. AM, talk about it. Oh, uh, yeah. So, the uh, floor pitching- is all yours now. This is you now. Now, nah, Pitching Quarters dropped uh, this Friday. It's basically uh, it's a fucking hood game that... Uh, Used to be in my hood all the time. You fucking flip a quarter next to the fucking uh, crack of the sidewalk. I seen fucking goddamn dope heads fucking or well dope dealers fucking lose five, six thousand off one flip. So motherfuckers either came home and were happy as shit or they lost their fucking mortgage to their house, man. So it's just it's just a hood street game fucking I seen as a kid. So I just I like concept theme albums, bro. So I mean, this guy in Walker, again, everybody could fucking say it. This man's fucking just putting in massive amounts of work right now, man. So just went over there with the concept. He loved it. We fucking were doing four joints. It's an EP. It's four songs, four times. It's each quarter of the year of this year. So it'll be 16 joints total. One each quarter of the... Uh, and the, the, the last song on the EP has a feature from who? Crime Apple, yeah, my buddy. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be bringing him out here uh, to Chicago May 11th. Uh, me and Walker will be doing a beat set. We'll be obviously performing. Hey, are you gonna make? Are we gonna? Are you gonna oh, make sorry. me do the? Are we gonna do the AM Walker set? Or what? Are we doing all this shit, bro? <laughs> I, I tell you what, that we, uh, me and Night Walker, we did the whole set at Reggie's, man, for um, Robusta's fucking anniversary party man and people just love the fucking love the joints we did three out of four of them man so people really just recepted it well me and this motherfucker i mean we probably recorded it three weeks before we fucking did the show so it, it did really well man just we just can't wait to push it out to motherfuckers and shit so that's this coming friday what's today yeah. today's tuesday yeah yeah march, march 22nd March 22nd, it'll be dropping. So. Right, maybe this will be out by then. I'll try to get my guy to fucking get it back to me by then. Maybe. If not, then possibly. Oh, well, not, hey, right, check out our album that already came out. There <laughs> you <saying>. go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But now, yeah. hey, like, I, I honestly, I think me and AM both love that record a lot. Like, he'll, AM will just text me randomly the day, like, yo, and, and it'll be like a different song every day. Like, yo, oh, progression. Is the best song I've ever heard. It's the next, yo, this yo hard time is the end of shit ever, bro. Yo, song is great, bro. We like, we just had a we had a fun time fucking I, making, like just a fun time fucking making it. And like I explained in a couple other fucking interviews with this cat man, like we just uh we can make music or we're fucking sitting at the crib watching Curvy Enthusiasm, eating fucking pizza, bro. Fucking, right. you want to see my I, penis? <laughs> 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 no, I'll pass on that one, though. But uh, <laughs> best episode ever. Episode yet? Wait, are you Jewish? <laughs> you <laughs> want to see that episode yet? No, nah, bro. Larry, so... Larry's outside. Oh, oh it's amazing. amazing, bro, bro, bro. He's whistling, so... and the dude's like, "What? Excuse me, what are you whistling? What are you whistling?" No, He's like, I are you just... Jewish? He's like, "You want to see my penis?" You want to check my penis? I will. I just got on the Curve Your Enthusiasm like three oh. months ago. So I'm on the, uh, he tripped Shaquille O'Neal right now. That's the one that I <laughs> oh. I love that. Oh. I wish I could go back and watch it for the first time. <laughs> but I, I I watched snippets at this guy's house and I was like, I never got it and shit. And then like, man, I just sat down one day, like a couple weeks ago. I was like, yo. This shit is oh, fucking- the episode that I sent you the clip from where he's talking to Super Dave, where he's like fucking uh, where, where he's fucking he's he's fucking the Muslim chick. <laughs> Fuck me, 
treat me like you fucked my country, Larry. <laughs> you know I'm down with that. Climax. <laughs> don't, don't, don't spoil it. Don't fucking spoil it for me. <laughs> oh, there's more. You, you can't be spoiled. It's classic. <laughs> You got to go watch the fucking little short thing he did where he's Bernie Sanders, too. Oh, oh, that shit is classic. It was like this Saturday, Night Live, Saturday Night Live, right? No, 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 no. Remember they did the little mini series? It was like it was like a season, basically, like a short little season where he was Bernie. He played. What? He played. You never saw I never, that? I never saw I never that. Even heard of that. Season. That, that well, he wouldn't seven. shake the black chick's hand. You don't remember that? I never saw. I never even because heard of she, this. And she I watched that wasn't and a didn't scene. Wipe oh, oh yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 Yo, he, he looked, looked like Joe Biden and shit. On yeah. some real shit. Like, look at their face. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is not looking good, bro. Yeah, How is that guy? Really How is that guy even still alive? He has more money than Richard Lewis, probably. Oof. Money is not the thing. They got the shit that the government got. <laughs> you know what yeah. what I'm like, we got the government cheese. They got like the government, like, keep this motherfucker alive. Yeah, yeah they got he's, some- he's plugged in, son. Wait till they unplug him. He's fucked. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely plugged in somehow. Plugged in. <laughs> For real. Coach, what do you got going on? You just dropped Slash Coach, which is still retarded, that I listen to constantly. Uh, I got a lot of shit going on. You know, you're always busy, too. Yeah, I, I'm always just... I just write raps every day. Uh, I got a new album with City. It's almost done. We got uh, Taboo on there so far. Nightwalk is never going to do it. Uh, Bollock's never gonna do it. Wait, did you uh, send me one of the Ducos? The fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> no, I don't know. The fuck is wrong with you people? Well, hold up, did you send me what I was supposed to do? No, but you're not gonna do it. <laughs> you're not, hey, you're not gonna, I didn't even send it. No, I, I just that's why, hey, that's why I love Coast. Coast is like, Nightworkers not gonna do it, so I'm not even gonna send it. Hey, no, did you send it to him? No, it makes no sense. sense. No, this no, is my, my logic. Wait, hey, anytime Coast ever sent me some shit. I'm pretty sure I did. Like maybe not every time, but a lot. Yeah, of you, time. you pretty much, you pretty much have. I was gonna wait until I have. like hey, Sidious is supposed me, to be. I do it eventually. No, Sidious is supposed to be rapping too on the joint. Get the fuck out of here. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, do I? If I know, if I send you something with a Sidious verse on it, you'll get it done immediately. So I wasn't gonna send Back. it to you, and fuck it. I'm just waiting for for that to happen. I'm waiting for. I if got you Rob put out Sonic a Sidious verse. Joint. If you do a join with Sidious and he rap and I'm not on it, I'm You're never talking it. to either your motherfuckers you, ever again. I already told him. I told, I told Taboo. I said, Walker is getting on this fucking joint and that's final. That's it. And fucking, I got that. I got an album with no Hokai that's done. We're just waiting for Bollock's verse. But, uh, it's not time yet. Are you for uh, real? Yeah, no, I'm for real. That shit was supposed to come out in January. I wanted to release. <laughs> I wanted to, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I've been growing my Spotify and shit. I've been releasing shit on, like, a steady schedule. I, I watched people talk about what I'm supposed to do and all this, and I did it. So I wanted to release things. Every in single way. one of those people is wrong. I, it no, worked, no, no, though. Post, it worked. Post, not post, post actually, I, I, I watch your shit. Like, you, you have been, you've been killing it, bro. Like, you, you're doing... Like you're not, you know, have billions of plays, but like you're no. fucking, you're, you're doing from, better than you were before. You yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know? No, I I figured out what, what I'm supposed to do. It works. It definitely works. Just being consistent and fucking. When I made the decision that like I'm not. Can good I have some at, of your money? I have nothing. I uh <laughs> I just figured out I'm not good at anything else that I like to do. So I was just gonna do this, and then that's all. You know. But then, yeah, I got I got that coming out. Is that then, how uh, you could afford those snazzy sunglasses? <laughs> snazzy. No, nah, these are these are um, from Amazon. I believe they were like twelve dollars because <laughs> my relationship my with sunglasses. Just buy well, like you've three been a right sunglass motherfucker for a long time. I like I wearing. You've sunglasses. had shades on many times. <laughs> <laughs> I always wear them. <laughs> 
because my eyes are going crazy. Well, they they take the attention away from your underface. <laughs> I have here we go, eyes. kids. Here we go. My, with the I'm just saying. I don't know. Did you notice my how opinion. close, close we to my eyeballs are? He's, he's just jealous <laughs> that he's the he's the fat friend now. What'd you say about your eyeballs? I look great. They're close I'm together. Like, let me they're close together? They're, they're close, so the light bounces off of them and gives me a headache. Well, what happened was <laughs> his underface, he has this condition where his underface is starting to surround his head. And it, <laughs> let's know, have, let's have an underface his eyes off. Closer together. <laughs> Yo, Take your underface an underface off. off. <laughs> Wait a second. You can't even face. hide it. Look at it. it's under there. Look at that. You can see it. You can see it. <laughs> That's right. Legendary. Uh, I don't care. Who no, do I, like I have it. to fucking show off to at this point? Would you guys? Yeah, really? You make your you baby. You get married. It's a wrap. Yeah, uh, we you, went you were to, out there with your wife for a bite. Would you guys eat? We went to uh, ITA Kitchen. It's What's like this fuck fucking. Italian kid. I guess they had a fancy way of ah, saying it. Ah, the goose or buzz the beats. Okay, dude. My <laughs> wife, the, the, the fucking, the appetizer, it comes out on a plate. It's got fried risotto bowls, these right. fucking um, so, uh, sausage. Like rice balls. Bro- rice balls are done. Fuck rice balls. We're doing risotto balls No, now. Re- Yeah, they were actually not bad. <laughs> then they had these fucking egg rolls made of fucking... Uh, Sausage and fucking broccoli rob, but this is the fattest shit I've ever seen in my life. I like it already. They have a no. fucking a grilled cheese sandwich that's on like the thick ass challah bread, and it's fucking it's... dipped in batter with mozzarella in the middle and fried, and then they put like penne alla vodka sauce on top of it, bro. I didn't eat. I ate it once with her. She ordered it to the fucking house, and I felt I like. Owner. Dude, I could I could feel the fucking yeah. arteries in my chest closing. I, I just went like, from nah. six to midnight, kid. I'm good to go. <laughs> that shit sounds good though. I'd probably be able to eat like three bites and be done though. I either hey, it. either it's three o'clock. I'd eat all that shit. I'd get fucking shit faced and eat everything you just said by myself. The whole <laughs> yeah. not not a drop left. I'd lick the plate like a that fucking was just golden the retriever. Like a golden retriever. <laughs> That's then right. I got this fucking shrimp dish. It was fucking delicious. She got some pasta shit. And so then what she got a... out for. Was it just an she wanted to have a little bite? She, little she wanted to date? No, her mother her mother kept saying, uh, why don't you guys go out to dinner for for the last time as a pregnant? This is the last time she's gonna be pregnant. And I was oh, like, so her mother planted this seed that you had to drop like hundred and ninety seven dollars on. Huh? <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, good old lady. I, mean, good old burn. I, I don't really, you know, my arm doesn't need to be twisted too much to go shove nah. fucking food into my fat face. If you've noticed, nah, I'll eat fucking everything in sight right now. Oh, I, I ate everything. I had a couple. I'm not of even hungry. Yeah, don't go there. <laughs> that 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 you yeah you would if you ate that shit you would fucking shit your pants though. I could I could tell I'm gonna have a messy sloppy diarrhea at some. Nightwalker's gonna have diarrhea just hearing about it. <laughs> you have a weak stomach. Hey, you know what? Hey, Bonnick, this is a perfect. No, statement. no, it's not weak. He doesn't have a stomach. What it is is uh, like he has this. He has an organ that only only he was born with. Like when he eats or drinks anything, it just runs through this thing and turns to diarrhea immediately. You know what I'm saying? Just straight five, in. Five ten in. minutes tops. He's like, oh shit. He's really? Oh, you're all hey, fucked this up. Per- this is the perfect segue because I wanted to talk about bidets for a little while. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, he was telling me about the bidet at at AM's fucking house. You know what I'm saying? Look, I I already told this dude, like, yo, AM got this crazy bidet. Like, I know Coach got one. Yo, Coach, you got a bidet, too? You spray your ass? You got a bidet? He's got the one you order off Amazon for, like, 35 bucks. He swears by it. (laughs) AM got, like, a heated one that, like, shoots super soakers up your ass and shit. All that. (laughs) Yeah, no, I got two two of them now. I got a nice one that warms your culo and and, uh, just a regular... But yeah, I'll never shit like a poor person again. I can't do that. Hey, tell him. <laughs> tell him, bro. Tell bro, him, bro. It's a whole different world, man. Like, who so the then after you after them? you hose your ass down, you gotta give yourself like a dry wipe, right? You gotta it's you gotta so pat dry it nice. Nothing. Well, AM's got like a blow dryer on it and shit, son. 
Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, you just you could sit there for a minute, let it drip dry a little bit, then you give it a little tap with some paper, you go on your way. That's there it. you go. So I'm you shitting definitely... like a caveman, is what you're telling me. Yeah, me too. Please, Papa. <laughs> you're shitting like hey, a hey, poor yo, person. Hey, I'm like, yo, what do you think about bidets? Like, because some people think they're gay and shit. I'm like, yeah, they are. <laughs> it's like, it's mad gay help. to have a you clean know, ass, bro. You show me like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, like, it's like it aims. It's like like it's like a laser beam that aims up. Like you could you could choose where it shoots. And I must have had it at the wrong angle or the wrong fucking <laughs> like, pressure. <laughs> I was like, yo, I came out the bathroom. I was like, yo, fuck you, motherfucker. Like, yo, you got a sensitive <laughs> asshole. Like is what it is. <laughs> that shit hit violent. you in the ass. <laughs> it has different, like, pressures, though. You I had have to go. Like, boiling water shooting up my ass at, like, the highest PSI. Yeah, that's <laughs> not what you want to do, bro. That shit will shoot across the fucking room, bro. <laughs> you, you took it right in the fucking brown eye. <laughs> I said, went right in the right in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it should have cut you. It would cut you. Fuck. My sister had a bidet in like again in like '93. It was like a real one. It was like a toilet. I love '93. <laughs> and a bidet. It was a toilet and a bidet. But no one ever used the bidet ever. I don't even think because it was like real. Like it was hyped into the I house. That. My my aunts got that. It was there when they bought the house. And yeah. Really the only it. time yeah. we ever fucked with it is they threw a huge house party and the next day. I had a butter knife and I was trying to unclog it from puke. That was oh, it. God. That oh, was I thought it. you were gonna say you had a butter knife stuck up your ass. So you had to, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's really what happened. I, I had, had a butter knife. knife. That's where I thought the story was going. I yeah, had it was all a the crazy butter. Party. I woke up with a butter knife shoved halfway up my ass. <laughs> how do you use the day to get it out? <laughs> that would have been a better man. fucking story. Crazy party. Great All night. the butter was stuck in his ass hairs like a fucking shag carpet. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Fucking gross. Yeah, nasty. How the fuck did we get on? We got onto a bidet. I was where I was waiting for a set for a, a segue to hit the bidet and talk. <laughs> you and yeah, he's, he's, talk he was about. talking to me about a bidet earlier. He's like, I, we got to discuss the bidet situation going on because two people on this podcast are big proponents of the bidet. <laughs> like half yeah. bidet. You know, yeah, you we order one like on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, you could order. You could. You it's could like, get an entry you know. level bidet for like fifty bones, thirty bones. Nah, I, I'm not gonna do an entry level after I seen AM shit. I'm it's not like, doing no entry level nothing. Fuck out of nah. here with this. He wants right? built in official. Well, you know what what do you got? You you got the seat top or do you got a Toto? Uh, no, I got the seat top. I got the Brundell joint. Oh <laughs> shit! That shit yeah, is high nice. class. God, they know, know these guys are about. well versed. Yo, yeah, yeah, I was like, you know brand names? Yeah, they know I the names. Like, oh, damn, you got bro. one of those? Bro, yeah, like I the, go out I got the Nike bidet. Yeah, like the D-Series. What the fuck? Hey, nah, man. you got to go. You got to check mm -hmm. out the products. You sticking up your butt, bro. What the fuck? Straight up, bro. The booty <laughs> You're granting them access to your anus. <laughs> you got to do the Man. knowledge. What if you get one by the Chinese and that shit fires little pellets up your ass? You know, you got to be careful where you're getting your booty shit from. I'm saying, man. Yeah, no, I like I like having a clean ass, and I don't care what none of y'all straight motherfuckers say. I'll be I'll be gay with a clean ass. Then fuck you. you I never used one. <laughs> Would you say you're gonna buy a used one? Two. I fuck, I fuck with baby wipes. Like my ass is like pretty clean. You know, like it might not. I feel like it's it's pretty good. I use fucking. I use the roughest toilet paper on the market. I don't give a fuck. Oh yeah, my shit's made out of like like high school newspaper. Del yeah, I'd wipe my ass with newspaper and be perfectly fine. Hey, you yeah. motherfucker, hurting. You motherfuckers is hurting, dog. Oh, That's fine. It works. Sandpaper. I'm good, bro. I do have yeah. baby wipes, though. On occasion, you got to use a nice baby wipe. Uh, no. You won't nah, I don't like that. I always feel like it's, I might as well, like, put some hand lotion in my crack after I use a baby wipe. <laughs> she smells like aloe vera. <laughs> This has got a weird texture. I'm walking around and my cheeks are sliding together. Yeah, it's a little, it's definitely a little weird. I don't like it. It's like a slip and slide. It's not good. I, I, well, the, the last hey, time I used one, I almost like felt guilty for using them on my kids when they were babies. I was like, Jesus. That's why you guys are yeah. crying and shit. Hey, yo. Oh, you guys are so annoyed. My cheeks fucking sliding around back here. What the fuck? Oh, hey, God. yo. Yeah. Hey, You're liable yo. to get the Bernie Cooley hey, with yo. that shit. 
Yeah, no, we got into the booty shit because we were talking about what I got coming out, and that's how everybody feels. Oh, yeah, that's right. We, that shit is booty, son. That's why we're talking like that. <laughs> but, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, I, I Supposedly, there might be a Slash Coast part two if Johnny ever stops making love and playing video games. Oh, yeah, Johnny's in love. Um, <laughs> Big love. time, bro. <laughs> he's a lover. It's cute. I mean, listen, the key's in love. <laughs> man. He's a it's lover. Cute. It's fucking cute. And we we've all we've all been in love before, I think. I'm just I mean, looking I, forward to him getting his heart broken so you guys can you're get back to work. You're a piece of shit. You're a fucking <laughs> shit. You're such a fucking piece of shit. You put that in the world, bro. We're going to be talking this kid yeah. off the ledge of a fucking building. That's nah, not cool. to... <laughs> Trust me, Johnny will be fine. He'll go fucking he'll go take his tattooed penis and sling it somewhere else. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Um. Hi, Johnny. Yeah. I don't know if he actually has Hi, a tattooed face, but he has a tattooed face, so, you know, I yeah, just so assumed. Ho- oh, also, also, there might be a Nightwalker and Coast record, too, but I don't that, know. The craziest part about that is it's done. I wrote it already. You you think, like, this is the thing, though. I, I, Did you send him the beats or no? What beats? No, he didn't, no, yeah. he didn't send me the beats. I ripped them off YouTube and wrote to him. <laughs> I mean, uh, Instagram. <laughs> All I you got to do is like hit him up, call him up, and be like, "Yo, send me, me the listen, Insta." Me Every beat talk- I have from him is Insta name of the beat, Insta I, name of the beat. I know we've talked about it a it's bunch of times. There's just no urgency because neither one of us is like urgent in that manner. <laughs> like yeah, it'll like, happen. We, we have mad shit that we're working on, but it's like, but yeah. I, but I know in my heart there's a Coast and Walker record on the way. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I know? mean it's it's ready to write. I mean, listen. I keep getting into these things with people where I, I like do work. Like if I'm left to my own devices, I'll just pump shit out. When I work with other people, like now I'm doing the city of shit and now taboos on it. So I am, I'm waiting for now a coal verse. I'm waiting for a city's verse. Like once I start waiting, I like lose the yeah. drive to finish it. And I move and I do oh, something I know. else. But Believe me. Your shit, your I know shit that is done feeling. though. I f- that's dope. That's yeah. I'm, let's I do know that. that fucking feeling. But so yeah, so I just keep it fucking moving. I think that's, I'm gonna that's, start that's like surprise yeah. motherfuckers with that one, bro. Like that's just like we. I mean, I could literally have it done in probably 48 hours. <laughs> like, but that's the can, thing. I, then, yeah. then it's that's, like that's one reason I was like, yo, like why would I not do a record with Coast? Like Coast will get it done, like maybe today. Like, like as soon as I send him the video, yeah, he'll send we me back fucking, like. Video. And shit. <laughs> we we got a joint with fucking uh, uh, supposedly BK is gonna rap for the first time in fucking I don't know how many years. He was like he was seriously like breaking my balls about getting it done, and then I I finally I was like here you go. <laughs> I, I sent him the fucking joint. I'm like yeah, get it done. So and then I haven't heard from him since. So <laughs> we'll see. Man, when I brought this back, cause. People, other people know. I, I had this. I had this podcast for like six years, and then I deaded it. I deaded it for like two. So I figured, all right. So I need like. Yeah, a- what happened with that? Didn't you? Weren't you doing something with Danny Boy? I still do it. I still do oh, it with okay. Danny Boy House Paint. Yeah, but um, th- I, we do that on occasion. That's that whole Delta Bravo <laughs> location shit that we do. There's another right. podcast that I still do, but it's it's on occasion. It's called Mission Statements. But um, no, and it's not a rip off of your song, so settle down. Yes, it is. No, Cease it's and not. desist. No, no you can write the letter. <laughs> write the letter. Right, no, because I'm sending him an, a, a, a scathing email after this. Scathing, yeah, no, because it's the Delta Bravo Urban Exploration Team, and we go and we hit spots and all this kind of shit. But whatever we say, we it's always like, all right, we're gonna go on a mission. <laughs> so it's like you know, get it, the podcast, you know, statement, mission statements, get it, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but I do it every once in a while. Um, but I've been wrapped up in my book, dude, which is fucking even stupid for me to even hear me say. Let's talk about that. Oof. Yeah, tell us about yourself. <laughs> I talk about myself constantly, but okay. Tell I, us about your book. I'm gonna. Can I tell them about what you? Is you're it doing? about when you were drinking? Oh fuck yeah! Uh, Are there some good it's, stories it's that we've discussed on podcasts before? It's chock full of fucking. Shit, your nanigans. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. I what I what I basically did. I, I, I'll, 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 I'll roll through it real quick. I'll try to. Episodes forty nine and fifty one of this podcast, I did a whole life story shit. 
Jimmy Ferrari yeah. Life and Times, and then part two. When I put out okay. the first one, people were like, dude, what the fuck? That should be a movie. You should write a book, blah, 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 blah. So I, people wanted to know more about the first episode, stuff that I just kind of glossed over. So I did a part two to fill in the people that wanted to know more about certain things. Everyone still was like, yo, that should be a book, a movie, that shit, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right. I'm, it sounded weird to me. Like, all right, cool. I'm glad you like the episode, but like, I'm going on to the next episode. Like, I did that. Now I'm moving on. So it was kind of way, way, way back in the back of my head, but I'm like a retard. So I used to like have like my sister do book reports for me when I was in school. Like I, I'm not an author. You know what I'm saying? I'm an idiot. So, so, <laughs> uh, so no joke about 10 months ago, I woke up and for no fucking reason whatsoever, like the second thought that popped in my head was, I think I'm going to write a book. I have no idea why. So I put a little something on my little stupid fucking Facebook page. Next thing you know, a guy that I met through the Delta Bravo shit calls me. He's like, yo, you're going to write a book? I'm like, I, I I, don't know. Like, I guess it's like, an idea. It's like an idea. I don't know. So he's like, I'll put you in touch with my father-in-law. I'm like, who's your father-in-law? He's like, you don't know his name, but you know the shit that he's worked on. His father-in-law is an editor. He's been an editor since 1969. Super well-respected, super successful the dude fucking edited The Stand and Pet Cemetery and like 20 Dean Koontz books. Like the dude is legit. I get in touch with him. He's originally from Brooklyn. He lives out in Maryland now. We start talking. He's like, yo, what's your book about? Tell me about 10,000 words. I'm in the basement on my lunch break at work. So I don't shut the fuck up for like a half hour straight. I'm just nailing him with all this shit, trying to go as chronological as I can. After I was done, I was like, all right, that's about it, plus about 100 stories. That's just off the top of my head, life-changing shit, blah, blah, blah. The phone was silent. I thought that the phone call dropped, and I got pissed for a second. Like, am I talking into an empty phone for 20 minutes? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, so, so then he's like, I have a question for you. I'm like, what's up? And no joke, his words were, how are you not in a mental institution or shooting heroin? Exactly what he asked me. I was like, I have no idea, bro. I'm on my lunch break at work. He's like, how do you, how much do you have written? I'm like, nothing, zero. He's like, start writing. So I start writing, blah, blah, blah. And I have no business having the memory that I have. I have, I, it doesn't even make sense. I, 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 remember, remember. I remember shit like 1992 going into the crazy Eddie dust spot, what it smelled like, what it looked like. I, I remember everything. So basically what I did was he just told me, don't worry about how long it is because a lot of it will be chopped up and whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. So I start, I do I join the ancestry shit, bro. I learned more about myself over the last 10 months than I ever knew in my entire life about me, my family, my scumbag family. I come from a lot of dirt, big, white, trash, fucking scumbags. So what happens is what I'm going to do is I, I start off with my grandparents a little bit, and then my parents, then the birth of my sister, then me. But all of that before I'm born is maybe like six, seven pages. And then it's me. And I'm going all the way through everything, all the way up to pretty much the beginning of 2015, because I got sober October 1st, 2014. So it's like I ended on like a nice little note. But it's it's everything. And right now, bro, I'm like 640 pages in which is like retarded. It. And right now I stopped laughing. It's like, it's like it's crazy stories and shit. It's, it's my whole life. It's my whole entire life from growing up in Canarsie, going to school, this and that, getting stuck up, but for my fucking with guns for my leather jacket to moving to Howard beach, my parents divorcing, my mother marrying a mob guy, fucking li living in Howard beach, fucking, the characters that were in my house constantly, this, that, the other thing, having a house upstate, joining the military, getting thrown out of the service, drugs, drinking, more drugs, more drinking, ball fights, chaos, ex-girlfriends, this, that, the other thing. Um, all the way up to last night, I actually, I stopped. I was at a perfect spot. Um, right now, I'm literally on August 18th, 2011. I only have a little bit more than three years to write about. And I ended last night because I couldn't, I didn't want, it was late. And I didn't want to go further into it because it's going to be a shit show. It's not going to be really easy to write about. But last night I ended with 
what I did not know at the time was the final conversation I ever had with my mother on the phone. So tomorrow night, because I was doing this, so I wasn't going to write. So tomorrow night, after I get home from work, that's where I'm picking up, like, the day I find out that my mother died. And then I go, because I was sober from April 1st, 2004, till about the beginning of 2010. And then once my mother died, I went off the fucking deep end like a maniac for, like, three and a half years until I got sober. But it's everything. There's a lot of names that have to be changed. Like my stepfather, even like my jerk or fat hairy bitch sister, like her husband, <laughs> like 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 her husband doesn't even have a name. He's just if they adapt with... this for a movie. Can Coast play your fat hairy bitch? <laughs> I know. Yes. <laughs> Yo, I was just gonna ask. Hey, no, you Jimmy, you hey, Jimmy, that's some real shit though. Like, I'm interested in that. Like, I, I look forward to fucking being able to read that shit. Like, it's it's. I, I, you know what I'm saying? We all grew up in Long Island and shit. Like, yeah. Of, I grew up in I grew, I grew up in neighborhoods in Brooklyn and then Howard Beach and then I joined the military. I was in New Mexico, then Alaska, then I got thrown out. I hooked up with my ex girlfriend. Yeah. We moved around and I hooked up with my ex wife. We moved from from Jersey to Miami to North Carolina and back up to Brooklyn to three different spots in Jersey. That's when all the shit goes down. And then right now it's like um it's it's gonna be like three years of fucking dark, miserable fucking shit. The good and, shit. And and then I wind up. What happens is, I mean, I said this on the fucking podcast. What happens is I'm I'm in my truck, in the backseat of my truck. It's like four o'clock in the morning, October first, two thousand fourteen, like late at night. In the middle of the night, I closed down a bar. I went to 7-Eleven. I bought like four 24-ounce bottles of Budweiser. I'm sitting in the back of my truck with a wife beater and basketball shorts on, smoking a cigarette and drinking. Cops came to my truck. They were like, is this your truck? I'm like, yeah. Like, I wasn't even sitting in the front, and the truck wasn't even running. I was sitting in the back. So I don't know. I only know little bits and pieces. But next thing you know, I was in an, I was in an ambulance, but just sitting there. And then I was in the fucking the fourth floor of Lutheran Hospital, the loony bin for two weeks. Fuck it. Yeah, sick. you 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 had drunk yourself retarded, son. That's what happened. Oh, I've I've <laughs> always been retarded. I've always been like retarded, but this was like some extra shit. Yeah. 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 It's it's every I tell everything from shit that I've never told anybody, shit that's embarrassing, shit that's wasn't easy to write, like fun like there's sometimes I, I felt like a half a psycho. I'd be in here typing on this computer about like fun, crazy shit from like the early nineties and laughing out loud at the dumb shit that we used to do. So some of it's funny, some of it's fucked up. Um, it's just, it's just everything. So, but there's a lot of people that the names will be, there's like a handful of people that their names will be, you know, legit. Like there's like ex girl, like not even ex girlfriends. There's like a couple of married fucking bitches that like I was fucking so like their name is, is like a, a mixture of like their first name and their last name, but like swapped around. Like, so I even know who the fuck I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of that kind of shit, but that's like the most important thing I think is that I, I don't need some fucking douchebag that was just mentioned once that happened to be in the room when something went down to be like, well, oh, you couldn't use, and next thing you know, it is all kinds of shit. So that's it. But yeah. I'm going to, uh, I should be. Done. I'm trying. I'm trying to be done by April first, which is about two weeks from now. Just only the real reason why is because on April Fool's Day, two thousand and four, was the first time I walked into rehab. So it'd be twenty years to the day that I walked into rehab. To I'm done with my entire life story. I don't know. I'm stupid like that. But yeah, yeah. But also maybe you're not right, start yet, buddy. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do you hear on now? What happened? I look I'll tell you what, when you're done, I'll take you out for a fucking drink. What do you say? You should. We should celebrate with a nice fucking cocktail. <laughs> yeah, this I was thinking about the story here, because I'm I'm gonna have my lawyer Nightwalker draft up something where you license me the rights to the film. And uh you have to like <laughs> you, you you have to fucking something catastrophic or great has to happen to end that. What what could it be? What could be the end of this book? Fucking interview diabolic. Yeah, That's what this. happened. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was what I'm doing, bro. 
yeah. got sober and met Diabolic and interviewed him, and some gay well, guy showed up. <laughs> yeah, and I did the end. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, and that was like a very that was like a very big like it made me realize how much I grew as a person because I didn't fucking knock out the gay dude in the dive ball. I yeah, pulled up. Like, I mean, for a screenplay, you, you would just lie and make some shit up, like right. you know. That's what I'm talking about. We got to come up with something good for the screen. Like not even not even was fucking cancer or something at the end of it. Wow. Oh, yeah, oh, but like okay. not even not even like sucking my own dick though. There's there's some shit. There's some shit that, like, I'll be telling somebody a story about something that legit really happened, and as I'm telling it, all I'm thinking is that this person that I'm talking to thinks that I am completely fucking full of shit. But I have, but I, it's true. It's like this person thinks I'm lying right now. But I have, I have like a million people that were there that can vouch for every single thing that I write. Bro, I'm putting fucking, I'm putting court records in there. I'm putting birth certificates. I'm putting screenshots. I got fucking. Prison records, autopsy reports. I'm fucking laying it all out there. If you say, oh, offended, yeah. you could jerk me off. <laughs> <laughs> take it easy. I'm telling you. No, I can't take it easy. There's some shit in there, bro. I, I believe you. <laughs> you're, gonna, <laughs> you're gonna have to put this on uh um, you know, like a book on tape because I don't know how to read. So I would have to do it though. I can't have like somebody from like Alabama do my shit. That's what I'm saying. You have to force me. It. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, we'll see. Maybe, hey, close. Maybe we could have Grim narrated. That would be fucking great. Narrated by Grim. Hey, no, uh, no. Usually, I think a lot of people will do their own shit, though. Yeah, it would be better if you did your own shit because, like, there's there's a little tricky thing you could do. Like, uh, sometimes when guys do their own shit, especially their own stories, they'll they'll do a little bit of like improv while they're doing it and elaborate a little. Yeah. You know, it's not I, I have a title. Book. I got a title, but I need like a subtitle. Like Life and Times of Jimmy the Jerk Off or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, jerk. yeah, I need like something underneath. I need like a subtitle. I have the title. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what can we put under that? Uh, well, it's no, relatively I unscathed. Facebook. I think relatively unscathed is the name of the book. Right, so you put in your little rappy rap for the intro That's, for the new show. I remember that, yeah. What could because I came out good? relatively unscathed. No one ever said I was normal. Relatively operative <laughs> word, bollock. Because no one, hmm. you know, I'm a little fucking. Yes, yeah, so look, oh, I could... a little, little left to center, a little bit, little bit. No one ever said I was normal, but it's all right. It's good, right? Yeah, I like it. But I don't know what the the subtitle is going to be. I'm racking my well, brain for it, but it'll come. She said another another way of saying that, a relatively unscathed, like some other meaning of, like just just be like, okay, douchebag or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that. Like, no, nah, yeah. you're you're a swell fellow. You it should be uh, the life you, and times of of uh, of a swell fellow. Party. A swell fan. Nah, nah, I'll come up with a title for you. Don't oh, here we go. Yeah, guys. now I'm, I'm on it too. Now, bro. All right, yo, hit me up. I'm open to suggestions, but you ain't getting no fucking royalties. Hey, yo. I'll give you a free book. I'll give you a free autograph book for your coffee table like a fucking gentleman. Just on the, all you got to do is after the first blank page, put a picture of me like this. <laughs> right? First page of the book. I mean, yeah, That's you could I probably want. dedicate it to him at that point. I'm dedicated to Sean Diabolic George. I'll write so, the written, forward. Written by, written by Sean Diabolic George. You know what right? <laughs> <laughs> I do have to think of somebody that, that should write the phone. I don't know. All my friends are like half illiterate idiots. Yeah, they don't got to actually write it. That's what you got an editor for. They got to write the premise of it, and then the editor turns it into like oh, every real single words. thing. Every single it's all gonna be my. It's 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 everything is me. But once I'm done, he already has like the first five hundred eighty pages. <laughs> so. It's crazy. He was like, it was, it was weird. He was like, he was like, you've never. Well, he puts it into like, l like easily digestible form and like makes yeah. you seem like you have a better vocabulary than you really do. Yeah. Well, I, it's, he was actually surprised. He's like, you've never written anything before. I'm like, no. He's like, I'm not going to name names, but there's like well established authors out there and they put like their third or fourth manuscript on my desk and yours is better than theirs. I'm like, what? There you go. I'm, a, I'm actually like a little bit fucking as smart. I don't even get it. Well, you could talk, so you can fella. write. Yeah, you can speak. You know, you, I, I was, you ever, I was, 
But did you ever rap? Were you, the were you a rap words. guy? Did you? Ever I was rap? never a rapper. Oh. I know lyrics to rap songs like the back of my hand, like full hey, rap. And everything. You know what? You you're fucking blessed after all, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank <laughs> God. That would have ruined this whole story if it turned out you became a rapper at the <laughs> end of it. Yeah. Like, ah, this story sucks, dude. That's what I was gonna mention. Uh, don't put the that. The reason in why me. I did all this shit and I was drinking myself into a coma is because I was too scared to grab a microphone and do my rap. I was nah, chasing that, you just the be... fucking dream. <laughs> that that's at the end, at the last page, and be like, and that's when I realized I should drop my first rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like well, <laughs> I realized when I was 50, I was gonna yeah. drop my first. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I didn't write. I didn't break it up into chapters. I mean, it's it's paragraphs. It's just all chronological. I was like, I'll overthink that shit, and I won't know what chapter would begin and end where. Plus, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna meet up once everything is done. We're gonna we might put like a big event that happens like later on in life at the beginning and kind of cut it off and then go back in time. You know what I mean, and then lead up to the full story of what we started with, and a lot yeah, of yeah, that's that's stuff. what the editor's for. You yeah, yeah, no, a presentation. Yeah, yeah you're writing gonna... like you're you're just you're writing all the information for him mm-hmm. to fucking yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah. good. That's I'm good. thinking it's probably gonna that's be. Cool. I'm like, I'm... yo, bro, Jimmy, it's it's dope that you remember all this shit, like, because most motherfuckers that are yeah, that are junkies or fucking whatever, you know, doing yeah. drugs a lot, like. I don't know. I just yeah. then it was three years later. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, I'll be like, yo, how do you not remember that? Like you were there. How do you not remember that? And people just a lot of people do drugs and drink to not remember shit. True. Yeah, I some... think I did. I think I did too. But for some reason, it's like a fucking blessing and a curse. I remember everything. Yeah. But nah, you fuck... got you. You got one of them fucking brains that never shut off. That's a curse. Yeah. That's, it's, <laughs> that's yeah, what it's, I have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I was always the idiot in like the nineties. I always had a disposable camera. Always. I have random pictures in bars, house parties, just friends here and there. So I have all of that shit still. I have all like ticket stubs from shows, hardcore shows, everything. So between those two, if like like for a little while, it was a little bit hard to write from like 92 to like 96 was a little rough because there was 50 things going on. Like I lived in Brooklyn, but then we moved to Howard Beach. But I had no say in that. And I knew nobody in Howard Beach at the time. So I would be living in Howard Beach. And then I have had Howard Beach friends. And then I had all my Brooklyn friends. And then shit would be going on. Like my house in Howard Beach was raided by the fucking feds when I left the house to go see an ex-girlfriend. My stepfather got arrested. This was going on. My sister lived in Brooklyn. I'm fucking her friend, Laura. I'm fucking this girl in, in Howard Beach. There's 95 things going on. Then hey, Laura- so it's like I had to like kind of write it down so that the person reading it could understand what the fuck is going on because it was 94 things happening in different boroughs with different people, different crews of kids. So that was like a little bit rough. But I have all this shit to reference where it's like, OK, I'm wearing that Miami Hurricanes fucking hat. That was right after I saw the Beastie Boys at Roseland. Okay, yeah. so here's another picture. I'm wearing the same hat. There was the ball brawl that happened on Flatbush Avenue. That happened within two weeks of each other. So now I can piece things together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, so everything is chronological. Put, it's put, put, those, gonna put, get. Those, put those motherfucking pictures in that book, too. So which sure. hat are we talking about? A starter hat or a game hat? You remember no. the day? You remember the two? Game. It was a starter hat. Game. Oh. All right. Yeah. I, they, what, it was the green with the orange bill in Miami. Oh, yeah, I had the, that. The no, guy. it was. <laughs> I'll fucking I'll dig up that fucking picture. Hey, real shit though, Jimmy, put them. Put or it them. was with the U. It probably had the U. Did it have the pinstripe, the little thin pinstripe. No, it was a character. Did on that it. style. It was a character on it. The it little the girl. On it. Okay. Huh? Yeah, bro. It was a character on it. It was black and orange. I think it had a green bill. It's ugly. Nineties, early nineties shit. Oh, it's fire. Are you kidding me? That hat's probably worth $75 on eBay. It right probably now. is. <laughs> with a sweat band, with the sweat all inside and shit. Oh, it's fucking vintage shit, man. These kids yeah. are eating it up. My son, my son, 13 years old, eighth grade. He's like, Dad, can you take me? I need baggier clothes. Like, he wore my <laughs> jeans to school. The and Mind you, my son's fucking 13. He's six feet tall, like fucking yeah. 200 pounds. Yeah. He's a big fucking kid, but like, he wore my jeans. All these kids... 
My daughter too. Like, Thank God. They're getting into like, it's not really my shit. It's more like early, like 91, 92. Yeah. Like, I started high school in 92, but like, it's like the cross color era almost. Yes. Like real baggy. Yeah, Bugs Bunny and Tasmanian Devil rocking. Yeah, color. iceberg shit. Remember the iceberg shit? Yeah, yeah, my yeah, daughter, yeah. my daughter color. has me on this fucking app. It's called Depop. I'm like, why do you want this shit? It's like lightly used clothes. I'm like, why do you want? I'll bring you to the store, get you whatever you want. But it's like vintage, like, bro. I paid like two hundred dollars for a pair of fucking Jinko jeans for my daughter. I mean, She's 14. I had, I had like three pairs of cross color jeans, which back then were like 80 fucking dollars. Yeah. And 1992 spending 80 dollars on a pair that's of a fucking lot. jeans was like that's like buying fucking, I don't know, what what Valenciaga shit now for people. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy money. In the I was a Tommy 90s. Hilfiger carpenter jean guy all day. That once they dropped, that's where I moved on to because they were affordable and they were fucking the best jeans ever made. Oh, Tommy Hilfiger's? Oh, yeah, they were the oh, best. Oh, yeah, the bro. Carpet, the Hilfiger Carpenter's. The fucking logo on it. Yep. It's all oh. I had a million pairs. A pair of the, uh, Timberlands, a fucking Yankee jersey, and a Yankee <laughs> the khaki hat. version because the, the, they the, were the, light. The loop to put a hammer on it. Yes. Oh, it so fucking great. They're, those were the best. Yeah, they I had like so many. It was my favorite bucks. too. You can get them for like thirty bucks, thirty five dollars. You can get them. For well, I probably got Tommy affordable. Bubble parents' house that are worth like six thousand dollars. I don't got none of my shit. I used to have all them shits, all the Tommy like fucking uh, you know, like the windbreaker jackets that were kind of yeah. long. I had a couple Nordica joints. Yeah, I don't know what happened to any of that shit, man. And the Tommy well, had like she was always like white and blue. Rubber polo, motherfucking. Raincoats and shit. Bro. Call can I jeans with the metal plate on the back? Yeah, the, the metal, metal plate. plate. Yeah. Oh, I had the Vasco jeans. Metal plate. The Vasco grip. Yo, VI. I got one Remember? thing from back then. I'm going to grab it. It's in the other VI room. VI Hold up. I, got I, I, knew, I, knew, I knew. It was only a matter of time before Bali dips out to go get something. No, 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 I'm still here. I my head But today, on. now it's jeans. No, no, I'm grabbing it. No, they're not jeans. They're close to jeans. So let me find it. He's like, no, I'm putting it on right now, bro. Where the fuck? No, I can't fit them. They don't fit me really. Why do you have this random thing in your downstairs studio? Yo, it's something that's just floated around for so fucking long and I would never get rid of. They're fucking fire, though. I won't get rid of them. (laughs) They have sentimental value? (laughs) Nah, they just kept ending up in like a box or something. Motherfucking woo wear. Oh, I have woo wear Look at these shits. Like the you give that to shit. your son, bro. Yeah, I would. I don't think that's he appreciates fire. it though. Like, nah, you gotta these show him. That's fucking fire, bro. They're like, that's the OG. Yeah, the OG shit. You know, like, hell yeah. yeah. I have a million pictures of me. I still got these shits. I just won't throw them out. I'm like, oh, nah, you can't throw those forever. away. You can what put them to eBay those? and get eight hundred dollars. Probably fit into those. You know what I'm saying? Send them. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know what I'll probably rock those. I have a million pictures now. You probably had, had, had a guess of thirty. Which ninety nine? Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? They're a forty. They're a forty thirty two, but they they don't they don't fit like a forty. They're a forty, but they don't fit like a forty because I can fit I'll a forty. Seven in there, and it'll fucking I put work. these shits on, and I'm like, I can't button them. They they're not a forty. <laughs> Unless they shrunk. Those. I don't know. those things will fit me like butter, bro. Perfect. Oh, they would fit you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'll trade you a pair of Bosch jeans for those. What's up? No, no, no. <laughs> I'll let you. You can, you can hold them, though. I'll let you no, hold them. No, I'm not holding I'll them. I'll let you hold them. I'd be nervous. Those shits are worth money for sure. Nah, Either give them, give them to your son or put them away. I always shit kept them shits. Yeah. I loved that them. Was, I loved them. That was Riz's first vision, son. Yeah, yeah, and that that was like the OG run too. It wasn't like when it got cheesy and kind of yeah, faded yeah, out. That, yeah, that little fucking brand, globe like with that, the whoosh that, that, that was his first vision. Yeah, yeah. I have a hat. Well, I, I wish I still had it, but it was a hat with the glow. Some shit's at Marshall, bro. I'll never forget it. It was like one of those. It was like the material that that that, that dries real fast, like that satin type material. Yeah. Yeah, talking about. Yeah, I have oh, a million yeah. pictures of me wearing it because I was at Woodstock '99. And I have a million pictures of that shit that I'm wearing it the whole weekend on a lot of acid. Hey. <laughs> I was on a lot of acid. You acid and I both, my friend. You and I oh, four both. days at Woodstock 99, the best weekend ever. <laughs> I was there. You were at Woodstock 99? 
Hell fucking yeah, I was there. Uh, I dipped out on acid. <laughs> like, yeah, I was on like, acid and acid, ecstasy. Acid, acid was was with you. I might be in some of your pictures. Who knows? Yeah, you might be. Who the fuck knows? I was, <laughs> I was so fucking yeah, out of my mind. You see me and Jimmy running through with chicks on our shoulders, <laughs> yelling. Can you imagine if I look at you really in one? That would be fucking insane. <laughs> That was Bro, the craziest, I even have dude, that was that shit was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. There's the fucking fly with my wristbands. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. There was my my, dude, my that shit, and my yeah, ex girlfriend. That show, bro. That shit evolves like into something of else. Nostalgia. Oh, that was a great time though. It was the fucking greatest crazy. weekend ever. I was out, but we we dipped out. Early on Sunday, we got there Thursday night, and I got in there because on the fucking flyer it says like the things you can't bring, like you yeah, can't. I bought about seven grilled that. cheeses. Did you see the people? Oh, in I, the had a, I had a case of Heineken glass deuce deuces. I had cold cuts from the bagel store that I had. I'm walking around <laughs> Woodstock, bro. I brought bagels and cold cuts, mayonnaise, fucking toilet paper. I rolled a giant red cooler right through. I gave a kid a regular 12 ounce Heineken because I was so fucked. I was drunk on the way there. And I see some kid who was all fucked up. And he was like, yo, you guys need a spot for a tent. It was me and my ex girlfriend. I'm like, yeah. He was like, yo, let me get one beer. And I was, I was like, here, give me a beer. And he got us the dopest spot. There was a whole ring of us that was smoking and eating ecstasy with people from fucking Michigan. It was insane, dude. We got out yeah, of I was out of fucking control, oh, dude. We got out of there Sunday morning. By the time I got home after traffic, I went home, I took a much needed fucking shower. I cracked a beer, I rolled a joint, and we had the hot box, you know, the cable box so you get the free shit. So I put yeah. it on because it was on pay-per-view. I sat down, I put the TV on, and the place was on fire. I'm like, what the fuck is happening there? We just Yo, it got fucking crazy, bro. It did. It, did. it got I crazy. That, On the way out of there, there was these like hippies and they were making fucking, they must have made a million dollars that day. They were fucking, because everybody was broke and dying from drug use and partying yeah. for fucking three days. It was like I a fucking four day bender, bro. It was crazy. He knows. And fucking, the they got a hot plate, right? I don't know how the fuck this thing's here. I don't remember exactly, but they were selling grilled cheeses on Wonder Bread, bro. Really? For like $5. Yeah. yeah, on the way out, <laughs> right where everybody's getting out, like stuck in traffic, getting the fuck out yeah. of there. But I had sunblock. I had a pot I grabbed like of money. seven of them. I was like, "I'll oh, give me those." Now. I need fucking sustenance. Oh, yeah. Bro, I, I paid ten. I paid ten dollars. Things. I paid ten dollars for a bottle of Poland Spring water, and I would have oh, given it crazy man. I would have given one 50. thing. We didn't, <clears throat> dude. We we fucking the people I went with. We fucking we had like. Mad fucking supplies, bro. Me too. I was. I don't know how we class. prepped for this because I don't even think I ever drank a bottle of water until that weekend. <laughs> right. I don't recall ever, but like bottled water wasn't a thing back then, really. No, it was. Like, oh, I gotta stop and grab water. Yeah. Like, there was one. Like, sort of get a drink. It was like you got a big gulp or some it shit. It was like 110 know? degrees. I'm on like yeah. I don't know how much acid. It's like it felt like the sun was on my head, bro. The fucking a fire truck comes. And we see they're about to spray. He stops and he starts spraying a hose. I'm like, holy shit. Because it was it was like kind of off on the outskirts. It wasn't a lot of people. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I gave I gave my girl everything that I thought was in my pockets. I go and I get soaked. It was like the greatest shit ever. And then I realized I had a giant bag, probably about 30 ecstasy hits in it. And it all merged into one. It was like it was like wet sheetrock in this bag. So I'm like, oh, still works. So still now works. you don't know how still much works. you're gonna Take eat. Bro, next thing you know, we're eating like this moist fucking shit. My girl, my ex girlfriend is licking the bag and gagging. She's like, because it tastes nasty. <laughs> Bro, she was like licking the bag and gagging every time, but then licking it again and then gagging. She was a fucking trooper. She's in the book under an alias, but. <laughs> Yeah, Dude, I don't she's even know. Like, like, gagging, back back. licking it again, gagging, licking it again. She was in. Dude, they need to do that shit again and let it happen just like that. Like, oh, it burn so down good. half of New York State. <laughs> so it was fucking crazy. <laughs> uh -huh. Yo, it was really like, dude, fucking. It was it was Limp Biscuit that went on and kind yeah. of set that shit off, bro. And yeah. it went, it devolved real fucking real fast fucking once quick. they went on. They, it was they Limp Biscuit back then. And then I went back to my tent 
Because me and my yeah. ex-girlfriend got separated during Limp Bizkit. Turned into like a mud pit fighting. Like it was bad. Fires everywhere. It was great. Yep. And I, it, it was, was the most surreal time, shit. Man. I was on, obviously I was on another planet. I went back to the tent because I had shorts and like a tank top on. I went back to the tent and I put on Tommy Hilfiger carpenters, my Timberlands, a white wife beater, and a Yankee hat on backwards. I was like, this is my mosh pit shit. So I went and, bro, to be in the middle of like 250,000 people going fucking ape shit to Rage Against the Machine was like dude, a. I got just, kicked in the side of the. It was like a religious experience, thing, dude. It was, yeah, it was crazy. Insane. insane. It was cra- I got kicked. Like somebody fucking kicked me. I was like Chris Rock or Chris Tucker in fucking Rush Hour. Who the fuck kicked me? Like I got kicked a whole boot just bang in the oh, side yeah. of the fucking head in a mosh pit. It was great. Yeah. Just spinning around. So I just punched someone else in the face and then yeah. keep, keep going. Good fucking Even time. I lived through that fucking thing. Yeah. That was a crazy time. Man. It was one of my favorite weekends ever in life. Ever. I'm it's so definitely the best time I've ever had. It's all been downhill since then. Yeah, yeah. The end of '99. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's been it's been downhill ever since. It's absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, oh, what a good yeah. fucking time. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck drugs and drugs. Yeah, more drugs and booze. People were looking at me like I was insane. I'm walking around with a ice cold deuce deuce of Heineken. It was just like. I don't know. I don't know. I got lucky. We had a giant fucking red igloo cooler. And I just. Yeah, dude, we got there early. So we got through with mad shit. We got there. It was probably about one o'clock in the morning on Thursday night. Full of supplies, bro. Yeah. We were full. We were fully loaded with beers, liquor, water. Bro, I had like. I had like two pounds of honey turkey, <laughs> roast beef. Yeah, yeah, no, I worked at a diner. at the turkey. This is the same shit as you, bro. I, I, I was waiting for you to say, yo, we had two pounds of fucking weed. Like, yo, we had like two pounds of fucking honey turkey. Yeah, like, bro. I, I, I was eating. I was fucking eating. I was pounds of oven gold. Yeah. I shit that would hold up. I brought bologna. Shit yeah. that was easy to deal with that would hold up in the fucking oh, I'm you know, in a cooler for three days. sandwiches in my tent with fucking Fuck mac, yeah. everything bagels, ham and cheese, like a fucking gentleman. I, I had a fucking, I took a garbage bag full of fucking rolls from the job. Yeah, I like a dozen. We would take the old rolls, like the, not the old rolls, but the leftover rolls from the day. Yeah. We'd put them in a garbage bag and throw them in the freezer. Yeah. So they don't go back. Mm-hmm. You pull them out. If you if you run into a jam, that's what you pull out. If you ran out of rolls for the day, you go to the yeah. freezer. So I just took the whole the whole fucking bag out and, of the freezer. And and left. Those rolls were delicious. <laughs> Dude, I was getting fucking drugs handed to me, traded for a roll. Yeah. So they'd be like, please, I'll give you fucking an eighth of weed for that yeah. roll. Yeah, I'll give you a yeah. handful of mushrooms. Yeah. yeah, let's fucking go. Here. Yeah, I'm in. Here. You want this bag of Coke? I never even did Coke. Sure. Right. Yeah, okay. I'll take Coke. Why not? <laughs> Dude, if you give me a water, I'll fucking suck your dick. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll trade you a water for something. Dick, bro. You know? Yeah. Wow. Well, see, see, yeah, we water, covered a water lot was, of topics water was on the yeah, yeah. that shit, bro. We cover a lot of topics from fucking witches to, to bidets <laughs> to fucking to... Woodstock 99, acid trips. It's always a good time. Oh, it was a great time. Yeah. Fuck. What else? You know what's up, though? I still live my life like that right now. (laughs) Do you? Sick. I wish I can. See, if if I did, I would go off the rails and I would not have a house. I'm off. The rails are, there's no rails left. Right. (laughs) You know, nah, I can't do that shit anymore, man. I, I don't know if I could live. I don't know if I'd live through that. I don't shit go to anymore. festivals and like hang out with fucking festival people. No, nah, I don't want to do that. I'm I'm not nah. trying to live rough. Nah, you know, nah, being at that festival is like being homeless, bro. It's like being in being at what's like, like, like being on cool Skid Row about. with bands. I got playing. that right crazy right now. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna vacation in Skid Row this year. Rage is playing. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. You know what, Bo- Bolic? I I might actually have like another one of these. I'm maybe, going to pick. Maybe I'll <laughs> gift one to you since you were there. I'm sure I have some of that shit around somewhere. Yeah, it's the original flyer, bro. 
The original. Yeah, and after that's old ass shit though. I have like more recent, like Rock the Bells, like yeah. badges and shit. I still have those, like mm-hmm. kind of accessible, but. Some of my old shit, man. I don't know what the fuck. But I do have shit from there because, like, I had a bulletin board that just had mad old shit I used to stick on it. You know, like yeah. little graffiti things. I drew pictures from yeah. disposables you got uh, put up. I mean, I had a fucking Matrix ticket stub from fucking when the Matrix came out. The oh, opening shit. night. 99. That was nice. So I have shit from then. Yeah. I just I don't know where the fuck it would be. It would be, like, in a fucking bin you know, yeah, like it's Tupperware. In your closet, a Tupperware in your closet. Yeah. Inside a shoebox or something. You dig up one day with your tapes in it and shit. Yeah. I have old school demo tape. What do you have? What do you collect, Coast? I got everything. <laughs> I got a bunch of fucking nonsense. I just he hold collects, on. I he, got... has a, he has a fucking uh, a large collection of fleshlights. Nice. I should. No, I only have one now, and I fuck. I have food. grave dirt. I have grave dirt that's labeled in mason jaws and shit. I'm a weird dude. No, I don't have any I collect, grave I dirt. I just collect baseball and football cards myself. No, I have like weird shit. I have like a I have a 22 inch piece of the original fence that I broke off at a grassy knoll when they whacked the president. That's pretty cool. I have that. I have I have pebbles from Elvis's grave. I have Charles Bronson grave dirt. Pretty cool. I don't have any grave dirt. I, I have a lot of grave dirt, so much so that I have to get because I'm like an OCD retard. So I get like these round etched like like trophy plaques that I put on the top of my mason jaws because I don't know what grave dirt is what. What is the end game for the grave dirt? What do you think? It's a conversation piece for like right now. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I thought maybe you That's were talking. All it is. Something to bring up when you want to show how fucking weird you are. Exactly. I have weird shit. Sprinkle it on the bed. I have have like a, I have a piece of um, slate, one of the, a a chunk of a slate step from the front of Roy DeMeo's house in Massapequa. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You should go out to uh, Massapequa. Speaking of Massapequa, you should go get the Gilgo Beach Killer. That guy Rex Human. You should go get a piece of his front steps. I should. I should. I want a piece of. You know what I really want to do? I want to get a piece of like the top of the stoop where Mary Jo Bonifuco got popped by Amy Fisher. That, that Ooh, was crazy. When that that's a happened. good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, right. I know the address. You ever have Little Vic on here? No. Hey, I was. Hey, Malik. Balak, I was about to say the same thing. I'm like, you know, yeah, because fuck- like he, he, you said, your mom married a fucking mob guy, fucking but little, little Vic, Vic Arena. Little Vic, I feel like Balak would just sit here. Big Vic like, Arena's in fucking. Oh. He's in. He's in prison. That's his dad. He was like the head of the mob out here. Yeah. Like during that whole era back then. Yeah. You guys probably have some interesting shit to talk oh, about. Oh yeah, there was there was definitely a cast of fucking well known characters that came in and out of my fucking house in Howard Beach. Hey, no Balak, oh, I was boy. Like- I say the same shit, but I just kept my mouth shut too. Nah, yeah, why not, man? Fuck it. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah fuck it. You guys, you guys probably have a lot to talk about, but it's probably all shit you shouldn't be fucking talking about anyway. Yeah, oh, I, 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 mean, I don't think Vic's gonna say a goddamn word to be honest. Yeah, he'll just sit there and be like, yeah, cool. Uh, I like. Uh, but, well, no, nah, you know, I mean, there's there's things that are just public knowledge that you can. Oh, hundred percent, a hundred percent. So, I mean, that's why I gotta. I, that's why I gotta be fucking careful. Maybe, maybe a private conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking it's bananas. That guy, um, I would I fucking almost hit the floor when I read because everyone knows that like Sammy the Bull has a fucking podcast, but that guy, it's called Reform Gangsters, Anthony Ruggiano Jr. You ever see that guy? I'm sure I have. I watch all that shit. I love it. Well, in, you know, in Goodfellas, when he's announcing everybody, he says, uh, Fat Andy, Mo Black's brother, Fat Andy. Fat yeah, Andy yeah, yeah. in real life is Anthony Ruggiano Jr.'s father. So okay. I saw that this guy has a podcast. I'm like, this motherfucker was in my house every other day. I'm like, <laughs> he was in my house every other day. He was in my house upstate. He was he was upstate when my father first got out, my stepfather first got out of prison. Like, I knew this guy. He was here all the time, all the fucking time. Now he's like a reformed gangster that does a podcast. I'm like, I can't. Like, it, yeah, he's a reformed gangster because of Rico laws, that's, but I get that's it. That's exactly. <laughs> exactly. Bro, that people like talk about this shit. 
Ah, uh, that shit's not the same, man. It's over now. The Rico it's shit. People talk about this shit. Put it to rest, man. Like it's de- it's declassified. Like nah, motherfucker, that's just right. never. It's true. And it's I just, should. It's over. I it's should have. Over. Like, I'm talking about a lot of shit I did. That's just never declassified. Yeah, I should have a fucking disdain for all that shit. Like I have every right to be like fuck. Like I fucking hate all that shit. Yeah. Like you read the book, you'll fucking realize. But. It is something still about it that's fucking fascinating. It's Even very though fascinating. It fucking, is. But I feel Everybody like, loves crooked shit, no, man. Everyone does. Like that shit. Yeah. It, it amazes me that, that motherfuckers will talk about this type of shit. Like, Oh, yeah, nowadays. No, yeah. I don't give a fuck. As long as I'm not doing the shit with them, I don't care what they talk about. I want to hear it. Right. I get it. Has nothing to do with me. Yeah, me has nothing to do with me, God. I'm no. good. <laughs> it's true. It's crazy. He's not there. I'll just listen. I'm just curious. Yeah. See, I'll come out the show. I feel about the Illuminati. I, shit. Like I just want to know. I didn't want to hear what these, but like, yeah, they're all this. And then, oh, this guy shot this dude in the face. I'm like, and you're just sitting here. <laughs> shit, huh? <laughs> Yo, we should do a podcast where we just make up stories. I mean, yeah, yeah, a fair <laughs> amount of those dudes that are talking now have definitely turned state's evidence. It's documented. So they're oh, allowed yeah. to talk about that. Yes. That they 100%. were party to it without. You know, oh, who see, I watch, later on, I watch it too, but, but I'm looking at who's time. that one dude? He's he's like probably the most well known of a Michael micro. Francis. Francis, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure didn't he? He testified about some things. He did, right? but 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 his whole thing where he testified, but but his whole situation is like a little bit different. Did he snitch? Yeah, yeah, but he didn't put anyone in jail. No one went to prison because of it. Right, 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 right. So he didn't yeah, like he didn't like roll over and send people away to get out of a situation. He said some shit and he just parted ways. He didn't take people down with him. Unlike Sammy and all these other fucking people. Right, right. So did he rat? Yeah, but it's a little bit different because he brought no I mean, even Sammy the Bull, you look at like the situation, <laughs> they 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 were trying to lay it all on him. Oh yeah. Like the whole thing. All right, you got to go down so I can stay here and do business. And he's like, wait a fucking second. Yeah, wait a minute. I killed 19 people all the fucking for you. Dirt this whole time? Yeah. And you're now going to tell me I got to go rot in prison? Yeah, no. Nah. You know, like, get it's the so, fuck out of here. You know, it's like, it's it. tough. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Once, once, you know, once the laws changed, yeah. everything got which, fucking which crazy. The reason man. why I've been working so hard on music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to be in that life, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, it's uh, why not, man. Prison's I, awesome, dude. Yeah, it's great. Mint. Sing, sing rules, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. So that's why I have I have, I have to change a lot of names. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's okay. It's all right. I mean, people who know will know. If especially the people who know me, like you know, my name, my daughter, my ex-wife. My sister doesn't even have a name. She's just only referred to as my sister. <laughs> my sister. Yeah, my sister. Her husband is referred to as the baby rhino. That's it. Is that is that the fat hairy sister? Yeah, the fat hairy cunt bitch. Yeah. You don't That's like your nice. sister, huh? No, nah, she's a jerk off. No, I don't like her at nice. all. Yeah. Is she older sister? Yeah, six years older. Fat hairy. She, do? she put fuck. you like she put you under a fucking laundry Amazing. basket and sit on top of it and I let you out. No, like, no, I told stories when we were younger that we used to brawl like animals. We used to hit each other with foreign objects and shit. I would have yeah, a yeah. she would have a spatula and fucking go to war. Yeah. No, but she's 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 she, 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 I hit my brother in the nuts with a wiffle ball bat once and then disappeared for twelve hours. Dang. I thought I was dead. <laughs> I ran fast. I was pretty quick as a young man. He was six hey, years old. Hey, Alex's brother. Bob's brother is like, you know, nice guy, but when, when, when Bob was younger, his brother wasn't so nice. Oh yeah. no, I wanted, I, I wanted to, I wanted to kill him. Yeah, me and my he sister got along for a long. Me and my sister were close for a long time, and then once my mother died, she saw a little opportunity, and she turned into a real cunt. So, ah, she went after the fucking. She went oh, after guys, the goods. I, I swear to you, yo, I'm about to move back to New York. Just because how you guys are talking, <laughs> you should. Cut my go. Yeah, New York is pretty good, man. Like Chicago sucks. <laughs> no one says that. Ah, my, the geek. Go <laughs> Yo, AM, you got any mafia stories? Where are you? He's bored. Oh, AM, no, yeah. AM got mafia stories, but he ain't gonna fucking say shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a different kind of mafia out here, bro. Yeah, it's a little. 
It's a little different than that, yeah. But I, I, the real shit, a, AM grew up around the same type of shit, but yeah, but different. Yeah, I want to go out there and like hit like Al Capone spots and shit and fuck. No, not that kind of, not that kind of, not that kind of gangster, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want to go do. I want to go like to where like he used to hang out and shit and do my whole. Oh, this is where the SDs sell heroin and shit. <laughs> no, I don't want none of that shit. I want like fucking like gentleman suit and tie guy maniacs. The social. Yeah, there, no, there ain't no more of that over here, man. I mean, it used to be, but not anymore. That's just dead. Yeah. No, they used to have used to have a couple couple joints like that, but not anymore, man. This shit. No, the like the the Al Capone spot still like like you know yeah you could go to that shit you could yeah, go visit you could do a whole but tour of that Am Am grew up around around different kind of shit like gang banging like and, and this is you know, when I came to Chicago I didn't understand gang banging like none of like do you guys understand gang banging like in reality no, we live in Brooklyn I, I live in Brooklyn there's no gang banging it it's weird bro like when oh, I came there's definitely like, gang banging going old, on in Brooklyn. I yeah, not around here. Yeah. Like, Maybe Brownsville, East New York, or something, but not in Bay oh, Yeah, yeah, it was blood yeah, and shit. Like, it was all that shit. Like, it was I like will, I was I'll, I'll say it like this: college, said, like, I, I, about gang banging and shit. I'm like, wait, what do you mean I can't wear my hat like this? Like, yeah, I'm wearing I mean, my hat. Like, if I'm from New York, you fucking bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm I learned all those like, rules a long time ago. All right, I will. I'll just say, I'll just say it like this: I'm from. In Chicago, I'm from a little area it's called Little Italy. So uh, it was just it's Italian, Italian, ah, it's it's the Basel. Yeah, it was just Italians and Mexicans over here. So uh I'm half black and I like even then back in the nineties, bro, like they'll check you as a fucking young kid over here, bro. So it was very strict. There's only a certain style of people that could come over here. If you didn't look a certain way, you could not be over here. <laughs> oh yeah, it used to be like that in Brooklyn too. Like McDonald yeah. Avenue was like yeah. the spot. You're not allowed to cross McDonald Avenue. Yeah, so, you get your head cracked in. Yeah, so now it's now the this area has become more predominantly uh, Latino, and literally, it's it's Chicago is one of them. Just like New York, man, it's very segregated and fucking. You walk two two blocks away from my hood. <laughs> And it's 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 black dudes, and you walk fucking and like my hood, and it's all Mexicans and fucking Italians. They, and they, they don't like each other. None of them like each other. Yeah, no, nah, it's not a. It's a little uh, different out here still, man. But yeah, you I mean, know, Chicago's I a special think, place. It's, it's an odd. It's one of a kind, Chicago. It really yeah. is. It's not, yeah. it's not really. It's it's the only thing I can equate based, to no, it is kind of LA, from. like it's Cali, not, but not. But it's no, not, it's not different. race at all, though. It's not like no, you know, no. Black people don't like Mexicans. Like, yeah, they don't. But fuck no, it. no. It's just, it's just. Uh, like, I live the I way live, it is. Hey, hey Balik, Balik. Basically, what you every said block is, is a different gang, and they have like fifty years, like generations of of killing each other and shit. Right. <laughs> so everybody, like everybody, knows each other's uncle and grandfather and everybody's been arguing and bitching at each other for fucking 60 years. I mean, that's why if you look at my album, Oakley, uh, that kind of just tells you, the you know, the Oakley trilogy, that kind of just explains to you what it kind of really is and shit. And it gets in a little bit more grave detail, but you know, it's, yeah, it's just different out here, man. And like, they should redo like, the Warriors based in Chicago, man. They should redo <laughs> that shit. They should. They should have like come up with a little little squad that's the Warriors, and they got to make it across, make it through all the hoods. But now, like now, would be that would be yeah. fucking wild, man. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 to the point now where it's like in the city, man. I, like even in Walker's neighborhood, bro. Like. He's very well known over there, and he don't even gangbang. It's like I'm very well known in my area, and I'm, I've never gangbanged a day in my life. But it's like back, man. Before I knew Walker, I wouldn't even go into Pilsen, man. Like, and that's just the truth. Like, I wouldn't go there, bro, because it's just too much shit. Like he says, I mean, we got areas over here where there's twelve city blocks, and there's eleven gangs in those <laughs> city blocks. No, for real. I guess it's real, bro. So, so. Like and then you got wild, kids, man. You got little kids who live on the west side, but the school it kips 
where they live at, they literally have to walk eight blocks away from where they fucking live. And it's hell, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you know, it's a lot of good, it's a lot of bad, but there's also a lot of good shit too. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. just, you know, like you just gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, that, that Oakley album, the trilogy, that's basically telling the stories of, you know, my life and people around me and shit, people that I know. It's it's goofy, man. <laughs> it's goofy <laughs> shit. <laughs> right, sometimes. Hey, Balak, like, okay, so you know about in Step Brothers where they're like, oh, uh, yo, we, we can't go that way and shit. Oh, yeah, like, make you eat the white dog shit. Like, like, I got a belly full of white dog shit. <laughs> like, got a belly full of white fun. dog shit, and this is the shit you throw <laughs> on me. <laughs> but hey, hey, AM, AM, AM won't talk about it, but like, like I, like I met AM's cousin doing. I was like bartending somewhere, and uh, AM's cousin's a girl, and she's like, "Yo, I think you know, you know my cousin and shit." I'm like, "Who's your cousin?" And she's like, "AM, is your cousin hot?" Right? And I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. my guy, bro. We just did a record together. And then, like, you know, this is years back. That the more I, you know, get to know these guys and shit, like, the, like, her family and shit is like, yo, these guys are deeply rooted, like how Jimmy's talking, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so, and AM is black, half black, and then what, Mexican and, and white. Black, right? Mexican, German, Polish, I'm all yeah. over like, so, like Polish is Chicago's Polish as fuck. I'm Polish too. Yeah, but fuck. a lot of Polacks out there. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, like, like people, you know, people in his family that, that he grew up with are like, were the, the same way that Jimmy's talking about, like the up, high ups of all those things <laughs> on different sides. Right, of, right, right. It's yeah. different sides of neighborhoods, different sides of shit. He don't want to talk about, it, you know. But when it's the real shit, it's like, yo, Chicago is fucking wild as fuck. Like, dude, I, I have friends that are really good friends of mine they're like like he said he wouldn't come to Pilsen like they they won't come here like when I lived in Little Village they wouldn't come there or yeah. if they did like go <clears throat> outside and like yo I would tell the gang back like the Latin Kings over there like yo there's gonna be my friends are pulling up don't do anything to them like they're there's gonna be a black Honda like and there's gonna be a Mexican dude and he's gonna look yeah. like, a, like he's just coming to visit me <laughs> yeah <laughs> no there's there's blocks too. There's a couple blocks I, I my that's in my area, and you can't walk down them unless you are know somebody that's down there. If they, they you don't know anybody, they're gonna get you. And that's still to this this day. That's not. We're not talking about 1997. We're talking about right yeah, now. Right, the little, been like there. right now. Like mm-hmm. if you walked over there right now, they'd be like, "Yo, who in the fuck are you, bro?" <laughs> And they wouldn't say it that way. <laughs> and, no, but it's but it's like, is it like that? Uh, yes, there's certain parts in New York, like in in the in the worst parts of Brooklyn and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure. No, no, that shit's all over the place, but it's different. It's but different it's like, than I'm, that. It is different. It's, different. it's I'm, not. It's I'm, not like it's not so. Um, it's not so embedded because I mean, not every we're block, old enough. Like not, I not remember different. when. I mean, I don't know the exact fucking date of when Bloods and Crips and all that shit showed up, because the gangs that used to be around here and that I knew of in New York in general back in the day were all Latino gangs. Yeah, It was right, all Latin right, right. gangs, Nietas and shit. Yeah. It was Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. And then, like, as I remember it, late ni- mid, late 90s, you you started seeing more Blood and Crip shit popping off. Right. All over Long Island, I mean, New York, York City. Not from New York. A piss. It was always weird. weird. Not from New York, right? But like, but it, like always, it was always not. weird to me. I was like, like my homie Arsene, right? Very good rapper back in the day. You're talking 97, 98, but a total fucking knucklehead from Bayshore, right? Total fucking knucklehead from the worst neighborhood in Bayshore. And you know how Bayshore can be. Bayshore is pretty fucked up in places. And uh, yeah, dude, he stabbed a kid, some gang shit. He was a blood at the time. So this was 1997. This kid was a great kid as far as I knew. I knew him going to studios. He was friends with my man Kavork. They just they were friends from high school and shit. Mm. And uh, he went before the judge and the judge is like having him give his little when he's about to sentence him. You know, you say something, the judge starts asking you questions. <clears throat> and the guy <throat> asks him why he stabbed the kid. And he goes, I'm a blood. That's what bloods do. 
Mm. So he got the book thrown at him. And that was, you know, <laughs> it was the blood shit to me at that point. I was like looking at it like, this is kind of fucking weird. We're in weird, New York. right? You know, it was weird to me back then that it even existed. It was very new. It was very new. But it was around. It was definitely in the hood. It was in Windanch. It was in fucking Bayshore. It was in Brentwood, along with Latin Kings. But I feel like Latin Kings and them didn't really beef with Bloods. It was more like Blood and Crip shit. It was more like Latinos beef with Latinos and Black people beef with Black people. You know, but it was weird as fuck because, like, in Wine Dance, right. Wine Dance is not a very big town. You know what I'm saying? It's not that big of a town. I, and one side of the I town, one side people. of the town will have some bloods on it, and then there'll be some crips. You know what I'm saying? At the time, and they'd be beefing, but they all like went to elementary school together before they were ever any of this shit. It wasn't like it, it was fucking wild, man. Over there, it's way more established. It's way deeper. It's been there for thing over over here. It's like fucking half a century, a, you know. Like World War Two, and you know, what I'm saying like, yo, dude, like your grandpa was that right. people and shit. Like, and it really is like that. You're your cousin. Yeah, like, it's it's different over there. It was always like, you know, it's like I yo, got more like, educated on gang fuck. culture in Cali from like dudes <laughs> over there, from like Mexican gangsters that I knew through through music and that were fans and shit. So I got educated <laughs> to it over there. Then we started hitting Chicago and I got even more educated to it. And it was like, it it makes little to no sense to me. <laughs> like, because right. I just don't live like that. Right. But at the same time, it makes sense to me because you, it's explained to you. Right. It, it's, it's fucked up. It's wild. It's fucking wild. It's a wild. Yeah. Chicago's, Chicago's its own fucking beast though. Yeah. It's I mean, it's been, it, it's, it's, it's like you said the it's earlier, laid out, the, it's like, it's like the perfect fucking storm for that shit. Yeah, it's, yeah. Wild. it's like you said, it's like you said earlier, Bob, like it's, it's Chicago is definitely like LA with the gang shit, but LA has control. Chicago, there's no control. But LA is not like a big city. See, LA is a huge city, right? Like LA, but LA is it's, it's mad spread, far, spread far. the fuck out. It's Chicago's a motherfucking if I Gotham take you an city. Hour it's to like, like your that shit is a city. Miles away. You know yeah, yeah. Chicago's like New York as far as a city is built. Might not be quite as big per se, like stacked, but it's like compact. That oh, shit yeah. is. Yeah, it's a, LA spread the fuck out. You need a car out there. Yeah, no. Nah, when I uh, <clears throat> when I went because I I was going to Cali uh, early two thousand nine, and I experienced just, just the different blood and crypt shit because I never right. experienced that from the Chicago standpoint. Because out here it's folks, kings, and you know vice lords. It's a six and the five. You know what I mean? So right, when right. I came out. To that it was just woof. It was a completely different thing, and you know these guys are controlled. Like, oh well, you can't kill this person unless this is going on, and you can't do this if this is going. On. Man, these little kids out here in Chicago don't give a fuck what nobody's saying. Nah, they created a whole fucking sector of hip hop based yeah. on it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they're just yeah. talking shit about catching bodies. Yeah, yeah. And doing yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Shit yeah, is so, it's a wild thing, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, so like just growing up in that and then growing up in it and then just kind of like, and again, like I said, I'm like the Lupe fiasco of this shit, except my but, skateboard was hey, baseball, hey, bro. Hey, I fucking hey, never, hey, you hey, know, I never, well, yeah. Hey, AM, like, you don't have to say anything specific, but like, on some real shit, just so you understand, like, AM grew up, like, his family is, is, Evolved in that type of shit when he was a baby, when he was a kid and shit, you know, like on certain sides of for real. Uh, and he lived in different neighborhoods and got like, I know you, you, this, like, these are kind of my friends, so you'd feel weird about talking about shit, but like, like being white was you got fucked with, being black, you got fucked with, being Mexican, you got fucked with. Yep. yep. And, but all, and living in different spots. Uh -huh. So you were just living the dream, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. <laughs> oh, and then like, yo, like, like I know, I know some of his family, and like, yo, you know, oh, that's that's what's that's what's his name's uncle, you know, like that's this, that's that dude. Th this is the dude that calls it for these motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like the equivalent of New York is like, that's the 
the leader of the Colombo crime family. You know, did what I'm you did that's you show your penis that's to like, prove no, that you're a Jew? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the fuck really? is wrong with you? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, you just said, question. You said, did you show your penis to prove you're a Jew? I, it's a reasonable fucking question. What the fuck? Reasonable. Very reasonable. He's not even a Jew. No, I'm talking about you. Oh, yeah. Like, when I, you I, met I, all these people, you're like, the, oh, that one my penis, up. I'm a Jew. <laughs> no, they, so they know that back you're on the fuck. Jew dicks now. <laughs> they know my face. Well, no, it's to show that you're circumcised, that you're a Jew. You know, that's what it's about. You want to see my penis? That's what you say. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I don't want to say this because knock on wood, or whatever, but I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with most people in, in this neighborhood. You know, I never got involved with any of that shit. Yeah, except the the Venezuelan migrants that probably want to take you the fuck out for your cigarettes and beers. I got a lot of bullets for them. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. That's it. That's it. Over two and a half hours of banter. Look, look at Coach. He has his he has his shades off. He's yeah, texting. He's texting. Hey, we got any them? You got any leftovers? He's texting or... his wife to see if she has any birthday cake up there for him. <laughs> it's not even his birthday until November. Any of those risotto balls? Or did I eat them all? Shit. <laughs> he just likes cake. No, I ate the risotto balls. There's there's like pasta and some shrimp left. Yeah, I'm gonna piss so badly right now. That's where I just went. I went to go piss in the slop sink. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys right to the fucking backyard where I'm gonna get your way. <laughs> Always, oh, Bog, I think I think he's pissed on every time he's been on this show. Every time, every live stream I've ever done on fucking Instagram, camera, like, every single went, one, I'll piss everywhere. I know you piss all over. <laughs> The world is your turn. I mean, I piss in the bushes. I know. I like pissing outside. I'll be honest with you. I like pissing outside more than in a toilet. You kidding me? Doesn't. So goddamn you American. Kidding me? <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> this is Fuck. au naturel right here. This is how I was supposed to piss. You know, if the if it was fucking like seven hundred years ago, I'd probably be wearing a fucking kilt, and I'd just be walking around. I'd just be pissing. I wouldn't even stop. I would just keep walking while I'm pissing. Bro, why, 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 a, why a kilt? Because <laughs> I'm Irish. I got. I mean, I'm not just Irish, but a lot of it is. So I figure they wore kilts, right? Isn't that Scott? So you could fucking have why? a nice, easy you piss. Just, you have to lift up your I don't face. know. Just, I thought it no, was it's just somebody face. up there. It was, in a kilt, your dick is pointing straight down. You just, you just let it go. You just let it go. <laughs> you let it go. You just let it all over your shoes. Yeah, but she had like shitty leather boots or something. Probably with <laughs> straps wrapped around them. Yeah, yeah. the brave parts that you see. You know, everybody's you're... shoes were like some fashionable girl's boots back then, pretty much. You know? True. Yeah. The sandals. You know, nobody was clean back then. Everybody smelled like shit. Yeah. <laughs> no bidets. <laughs> yeah, they uh, smelled terrible. There was no deodorant. Nah, Chicks had fucking... butches and stuff. There was just yeah, wild shit, you know. pubic hair everywhere. And that's all those motherfuckers that like fucked our great ancestors. With yeah. No different. No. Animals. Yeah, shout fucking out to all savage. the unprotected These sex that was going on back then that led to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Before even like Columbus went and like <laughs> tried to steal spices and shit, like we didn't have spices yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> Yeah, it's like your great 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 grand, like your great 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 grandmother's like undercarriage. It's like smells like dog shit. You fucking hey, what the you fuck know? is going hey, on? We're <laughs> talking about fucking... not being hygienically correct way back in the day when Bollock. Like, none of us will be here without. Dude, no, they without... had muffs like raccoon <laughs> tails, bro. They were crazy yeah. back in the day. <laughs> they were not playing any fucking games. This is pre-landing well, strip. They didn't they even were, have razors. They just started wow. eating ass recently. Like I've been eating ass for years. He's <laughs> over here like I'm not eating ass. I'm here like, have you ever seen this shit? Let's get the fuck out. Of here. You're gonna get <laughs> fucking pink eye and E. coli. In the tub, in the <laughs> <cold man. laughs> Get the fuck you keep out. licking buttholes. You're gonna get food poisoning. Get the fuck out of here. He said, "If you keep licking buttholes, you're gonna get food poisoning." <laughs> it's true. You're gonna get pink eye too. That's how you get it. I saw that in a movie. 
Did you? you get pink eye from shit particles. That's why little kids are always getting it because they're filthy. They get pink eye a lot. Little kids, like two, three year olds, they they get pink eye. That's how kids have pay conjunctivitis. It's from shit particles on your fingers. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Hey, you you get your hand down a dirty diaper and finger in your eye. Your pink eye. <laughs> You think you you think you fucking what if you slip while you're down near a girl's butthole and you just rub your eye against a butthole? You're gonna get a shit particle in there. You're gonna have to go to the doctor and get drops. <laughs> in the 1200s in England, where they're just like dumping shit into the cobblestone mud streets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people don't... lived till they were like 17 years old. I'll eat that. I'll eat that. You know. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Well, I'm glad we promoted the record that you're putting out. There. Yeah, also, uh, we have record sound coming out. <laughs> That's not really what this is about. You're never really selling a record. You're selling yourself. Yeah, it's true. I knew that this was going to be like this. I said, what a fucking shit. When I post on the group, I was like, it's, it's going to be a train wreck it's going to be. <laughs> See, yeah, I like getting together when me and Jimmy <laughs> just get together. It's better than that. got this better when he comes out. Here it's so much more like fun. Yeah, people, we get we get stragglers that come in and involve themselves. Yeah, we, you know that's happened several times. Maybe it was no, like the other bar. I took you to replay the good spot. That's a better bar. It's like a sports bar. We were in we the back. And we shit. had like yeah, there was like the a, kids knew who I was and shit. Once we told them what we were doing, yeah. Then there was that one kid who like graduated from the Air Force. There was a whole yeah. thing out there. Like there was like the hot mother that was out there yeah. talking. That's like right. oh. Well, <laughs> Yeah. She, wanted the, she wanted to be on the radio. The but what's happening radio. right now? Oh, look, Am's going to get beers and shit. Look. Nah, <laughs> nah. I was going to get my going to get my dad rig out the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I'll have to come out. I'll have to come out. But I have to, we had. I don't know. I don't know how I could bring it and, and be able to do a video of it. Can you do a Zoom yeah, on your sure. phone? You can, right? Sure yeah, I'm doing it. Um, yeah. But like yeah. both of us, it would be like me jer like No, like no, you'd get feedback. You'd get feedback if we both did it. Um Yeah, that's what that's what AM was like, oh, it's like you, you, we'd have like, to, you, you well it, to do in person shit, we'd have to have somebody filming it. Right. Really? Yeah. You couldn't do it like because we just did audio. You had that little rig yeah. that you had with the mic on it and shit. Uh, yeah, well, I just yeah, we'd have to have somebody well, filming it. I, I started doing this shit when, when with COVID, so I was like, no one's going anywhere. So I right, fuck it. I was always against doing. It. I wanted to do it face to face with whoever. Just audio. I didn't give. It's a much shit. easier to do this shit though and put it together. Yeah. It's much yeah. easier. You get people fucking cross the fucking globe. Yeah, it was like what they like the first one that I did. <laughs> Zoom with it was like a guy in Cali, and then the next one the guy was over in England. So I was like, all right, this is cool. I'm in my fucking pajama pants. It's like whatever. Right. right. But then, but if I if I have somebody, if we get somebody, I don't care. I'll come out to Huntington Station and fucking go corner pocket somewhere. Coast, dude. I'm surprised Coast has pants on at all. You still got your pants on? I noticed yeah, when he got to go pee, he's, he's matching pants and getting some bull shorts on. Yeah, he's in a ghillie suit on. Coast, Coast got up, no pants. Oh, you got matching suit. You're all you're you're like flying. He looks like he has a ghillie suit on. He's notorious for throwing on a pair of ball shorts when he gets home. Yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty fucking cold in New York right now, and it's cold. It's like outside down here in the basement. So I like to right. keep my tits warm when I'm in the freezing cold. Nice. Right. Doesn't like. I like uh, that. Doesn't insulate at all, Jim. No, I does. I just I don't put the heat on down here. I just I like it kind of cold, but I just don't put my ball shorts on and sit here with my tits out until summer. This this is at least one hoodie in the winter. Nice, kind of kind of like so that. Should, you know? So we should we should plan something. Unless you fucking guys come up from Chicago, me Bollock and Coast, we should like get together and do something like in person. I would do it. Hey, hey. hey. I'm down as fuck, and I know hey, I'm down too, bro. Yeah, I'm always. Yo, down. just here you go, Jimmy. This is what you do: just book a show. Uh, <laughs> a show. You make a. Uh, uh, yeah, find a uh, venue, Brooklyn, build one. Yeah, Brooklyn Blast Furnace show, and we'll do it. I promoted like 35 shows at Lucky 13 here in Brooklyn. It's like a metal ball. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've done that one with uh, with uh, with Diablo, dude. Did shows yeah. there a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, used to do, he used to do Diablo. <laughs> I did a couple of them with uh, UGP. I, I did like guest. Yeah. I was like a guest. 
And yeah, you, I booked like I booked like thirty shows there. That's how this yeah. podcast even happened. This podcast that place was actually pretty good. I like yeah. that place. Yeah, that this good podcast spot. happened by accident because of the shows I was booking. That's how it happened. Who did I meet there? The, the fucking actor from uh, that's friends with those guys. Um, you're probably friends with them too. From um, Usual Suspects and. Give me the fucking you know, the guy. fucking guy. Uh, no, uh, he's the talking about, talking about Benicio Del Toro. No, oh. no, um, he's from Brooklyn. I, I he's friends with Danny Diablo, and then I met him. I was hanging out with him. Oh, Peter Green. Yes, from Pulp Peter Fiction. Green. Zed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Zed. Perfect. Yeah. Zed. Peter Zed. Green. Yeah, he's hanging out with, with Danny Diablo. He used to live with Scam Dust. Yeah, Peter Green. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He was there. He's all fucked up. Yeah. Uh, Peter, Green. Train wreck. Peter Green makes his little appearances. Dude, he put his time. arm around me and he's like, yo, it's, it, it's, I haven't seen you in a while. I First time I ever met him. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good to see you, man. Yeah. He's like, oh, man, thanks, man. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's the Pulp Fiction guy who fucks yeah, yeah. He was a nice policy. guy. He was a nice guy. Yeah. He's clearly. On drugs and <laughs> fucking chilling. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, but he was having a good time. Yeah, yeah. So um, that would be cool if I fucking put a show together. I don't know about that, but I could probably do something. I'd make a couple two tree phone calls, but you gotta show up, Bollock. I'll show up if you do it. Not if some chud. It makes me show up. <laughs> I would do it. Why I'll be there. Not? I would do it. Why not? Give me something. Give me something else to do. Like I don't have ninety seven. on my plate What's already. going on? What's good going thing on? you have OCD. You'll be good to go. Oh, Coach, what's bad. going on with the show that you were trying to that you're trying to put together? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Um, yeah. I can't find a fucking venue suitable for it. And <laughs> we'll um, do Amityville Musical. They they're doing that was going to be the choice. They're doing work on it. They're like completely overhauling Amityville Music Halls. Me- medicine. Thank Sunday? God, man, that place sucks. <laughs> they need to like redo it. Well, yeah, they're redoing it. What happened? What, what happened to medicine? Push. Where is medicine? Medicine is like oh. a fucking like an insurance yeah. office now. Let's do a show oh. there. <laughs> it's kicked the fucking. Now, nah, let I think it, it might be some kind of restaurant at some point, but or some shit. But I, I think they like split it in half. I feel like it used to be bigger. Now there's like an insurance office right where it was. I don't know that Bollock's ever been to medicine. But he's I think there. I've been to medicine. He got he's fucking he maced. The fuck I got maced. Oh, I, remember, I was I on remember. stage while the guy sprayed the mace. I was rapping. <laughs> he kept rapping. I'm like, is this guy going to stop rapping? This guy's fucking unloading a can of mace in his fucking face. And he just I kept didn't rapping. Even, dude, I didn't even see that. I, <laughs> I, I didn't it. know that happened until you guys told me. <laughs> And I was like, where yeah, the no, fuck it, is he? I'm going to kill him. Yeah, we were outside after that. I they chased that guy down the in the spot. Like, they kicked us out of there. Yeah, I don't know after what the that. fuck happened. But they, they were getting us all out. They were like, hey, that was go. Good spot. I swear to God, medicine was a shit. What's medicine that? Was, yeah. I was going to kill that guy. It was a bar. It was like this. Uh, it was in Levittown, I believe, or East Meadow on Hampstead yeah. Turnpike. I, got a, I should give him some credit because that's how I found out. I'm immune to that shit. I was fine. Everybody else is like, what the fuck, dude? I'm dying. I was like, what are you talking about? I got a spring mace at you while you were rapping. I said, oh, okay. Dude, Little did I know. Did. I had no fucking idea. Wait, was He's... I there? I wasn't there for this. No way. You were there. You, you threw were there. the show. Oh, it was, it was, it was the show. show. <laughs> you got me on the show. Yeah, you were you there. Were there. Were there. You were with mace? The guy sprayed mace. He was like a doorman or, or like some guy. He worked there. He was they were trying to. They, they were just fucking being dicks that night. It was like they a were, biker dude, like an old yeah, dude he's biker. A jerk off. I was, dude. You were guy, definitely there. He, like, he used to give me like lemon water with honey and shit. <laughs> dude, dude, you know what place dude. I can look at? There's a place called the Kingsland. That's where you ever see the World War Hulk video with Slane and Ill Bill and Gore Tex? They they filmed that video there. It's called the Kingsland. It's in Brooklyn. It's a decent sized place, but it's not like giant and it's not tiny. I'll look right. for real. If you guys are serious, I'll fucking look into it. I'll book a fucking show. I've done it before. 
Don't uh, don't okay. take stuff back down into the fucking depths of hell. But wait, hold on. So it was my show, and you got Grim with Mace. <laughs> yeah, where was Grim? He was there. Grim was. This was Grim. not. Grim wasn't there. Oh, this Grim. was. This he was pre Grim. No, this was like 05, dude. There's no pre Grim because I I was friends with Grim before I met anyone. Yes, yeah, Grim was definitely there. Grim was there. In, in Medicine, I, got, I got arrested with almost Grimm. positive. I, I got arrested with Grim in like 2000. And... <laughs> this was probably like 07. No, nah, it couldn't have been, dude. It wasn't it 07. Be. It's it definitely be. not 07. That's really like 06 ish. Is like when me and Walker died. really started hanging out hard body 05, 06. Yeah, medicine that medicine shit died in like 06. I remember it closing. It was over. No, 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 definitely not. Hey, but I remember one time Grim. No, I don't know how this happened either. But I remember Grim chasing somebody. So remember that there was so there's a stage. Yeah, the bar. Yeah, the fucking bar over on the left there. Bar that like it's both like there's a stage and then there's a bar, and you can stand in front of the stage, and the bars will be on your right. Right. Yeah. But the bar went. It was in the middle of the place. You could. You could like. Chase be people up, around and beat them. After the yeah. bar, the you know, in front of the stage, the back of the stage. And I remember, I don't remember how this happened, but Grim was chasing somebody around the bar. Like, you motherfucker, fucking chase the, 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 the running away. You're like, strong box, you vermin, you. You, ver- you fucking varmint, you. <laughs> <laughs> you, motherfucker. you motherfucker. You motherfucker, you. Best. Fuck. All right, gentlemen. Going on three yeah. hours. Yeah, we got to get out of here. Is it yeah, really? It's like, yeah, it's 11.34 over hey, here. Also, uh, me and AM have an album dropping that probably already dropped by the time it comes out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> go- right, so so what, what, what the time? Now? <laughs> Yo, support this record. Nightwalker needs a new bidet. Right. <laughs> All right, so one at a time. Walker, you go one at a time. Throw out your fucking bullshit social medias that all the kids like to fucking... Yeah, go, fuck it. <laughs> go on, next. Yeah, what is it? At Nightwalker American Asshole on Instagram. American Asshole. I'm surprised Instagram hasn't kicked me off yet, but they have not. Nice. AM, talk, to, talk at us. AMEarlyMorning.com. This is that simple, man. Find me on all that shit, all that oh. shit. Uh, it's Coast Low Castro and everything. PorscheMoney.com. Such a weird website name, but I still like it. I it's love cute. it. Perfect. He wants a Porsche. I know. It's Porsche Money. Porsche Bye. Money. You can find me in Diabolic Hip Hop on most shit, but I'm probably not going to answer shit or do anything on it <laughs> until I have right. something to sell you. Right. So just well, come the, find the, the original Brooklyn Blast Furnace Instagram was hacked three years ago. It's still up. I have no access to it whatsoever. So just pretend it's not even there. So what I wound up doing, I was not going to create another Brooklyn Blast Furnace Instagram because then you have all the idiots asking questions. Is it this one? Is it that? I don't want to deal with all that shit. So, but I did make one for the book and I just wound up turning it into a combination book podcast Instagram. And it's the, the title of the book, which is at relatively unscathed. That's what it is. There's a link in that bio, which opens up a link tree to everywhere, book shit, and everywhere you can listen to the podcast. And then on Facebook, it's the same. There's like 4,000 people or some shit on it. There's the Brooklyn Blast Furnace Podcast group on Facebook. That's the only two places. I have other shit, but I'm never on them, so don't even bother. So it's just a Facebook page. I'm relatively unscathed at on Instagram. That's it. Hey, all right. Hey. So follow it. Fucking tell your fucking hey, fuck old friend. Night. That's it. Gives it a gee, chop. But it a buzz. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, ciao, Bella. Banzini. Ciao. I don't know how to hang up this up. So, <laughs> gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Good night. Later. Peace <laughs> out. Peace, brother. <laughs>